CS1002. Uh, we can go live in exactly one minute from now. Let me know once we go live so that I can start. Yes, sir. Live started, sir. Hello, people. Good evening. Welcome to the session with the um, professor. I'm, I hope everything is going good and the review week is also going on well. I'm informally starting right now. Well, formally, we'll start in like two, three minutes. We'll wait for uh, people to join. I believe, uh, as per what Karthik said, um, there, pr there probably are a few, um, um, in order of maybe around 100 people will join today. And I have an interesting announcement for all of you. I would want everybody to join in there. Okay, so let's wait. Karthik, am I right? I, 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 ho I hope we'll be getting um, people in the order of hundreds because that's what our uh, what poll said, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, so let's wait and watch. So we'll we'll start in like five. I hope that's okay, Karthik. When the live is started, we, yeah, can, yeah, we can wait for five minutes, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, super. Karthik, is there any way we can send out a gentle reminder saying that we are starting in like two minutes, please join. Is that possible somehow? Uh, so actually the, the WhatsApp message and uh, mail has gone out. So I don't know why. So just checking with the students here. So can anyone confirm if you received the message and... Uh... Yes, sir. We have received a message on WhatsApp and mail also. Yes, sir. Same you. Yes, sir. Same. Yeah, we have PC. Uh, okay, sir. So I'll just check if we can send out a quick reminder. Sure.
looks like people are going to take some time so let's formally start in uh, less than a couple of minutes maybe we can informally start now if people have any questions concerns please go ahead and ask me so in general how is it going um how was the how was the test exam how was the week's assignment how, how is functions coming along how much of it did you people learn Shahid, hi, Harshal, hi. I'll get a hi if you people switch on, a, switch on the video. Hello, sir. Yeah, personal hi to people who are the video. <laughs> Mehul, Shahid, Harshal. People who don't have the video on, don't worry. I, I just said hi to incentivize the ones who are switching it on. Hi, Mehul. Hi, Rajneesh. Hi. Uh, I'm unable to see the names. Okay, just a minute. Harshit, Falinkar, Aditya, Mehul, Harshal. Hi to all for a few. Shahid, hi. So, yeah, please, please tell me in case you have something to talk, something to ask. Nothing. Is the live session over? Is there nothing much to talk then? You can I still wind up? Yeah, Aditya, go on. Uh, yesterday's test was kind of surprising for me. Okay. Uh, as in, uh, I, I had a I had a friend. I had prepared really well for yesterday's test, and uh, okay. from my seniors, I had got to know that uh, as in those who had taken Python from uh, for uh, last term, okay. they had told that mostly all the questions come from activities and your assignments, and do all of them twice or thrice. So That's right. Fully... Similar to at least, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the first slot, after the first slot, my friend called me and discussed with me the important questions. Obviously, they were not going to be repeated, but I could solve them as well, pretty easily. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. The slot two questions, the common questions seemed kind of uh, way too difficult to me, at least. And a few things did not go as smoothly as I had thought they would go. So, that so let's 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 uh, discuss that. I mean, so uh, please note that um, we all not just believe but strongly believe that uh, exam should be motivational, okay, and it should not be discouraging, right? We will take extra measures to ensure that that happens, right? It, it's an assurance from my, it's a promise from my side. But that said, it should not even be a cakewalk. Because so you see yeah. you're, you're proud of a degree from an IIT, right? IIT stands for very good quality. Quality should not be difficulty. Quality should be, um, you know, uh, the, the the peaks and uh, uh, heights of learning, uh, right? That learning should not be at the level of, uh, um, you know, so uh, driving a, a, a Formula One um, uh, kind of car. It should be driving the the, the typical car on the uh, normal roads, but then you should drive it really well. Uh, right, so we have some expectation and should be reachable to the average, how I see at least uh, how I address a, a class, how generally a teacher is expected to address a class is he sees the average of the class and he tries to push that average IQ levels, EQ levels, intelligence, abilities, etc. Assume some three hours of extra work from them per week and then sticks to that. Anybody who does that three hours of work should do really well. All right. So if, if it's if it's like if it's if you're feeling that you need to invest 10 hours of time every week, it means something is going wrong with my estimation of what is average of the class. Okay. But then average is a misnomer in an online class, as you know. It's it's sort of a, a MOOC-like setup, right? So I do not know what, what is difficult for uh, people, what is easy for people. I don't want to discourage people by giving something very easy. At the same time, I don't want to um, make people realize that programming is not my cup of tea by giving them something very difficult. So I need to understand for that, we need to talk. So what we'll do is today's session, we'll keep it exclusively talking. Okay, I'll not open my terminal just for this um, uh, session. We'll go on with questions and try to I'll also write down uh, possible points which we can um, uh, further work on and I'll get back to you on these points. The next uh, session will be discussing these points. Okay, I'll jot down the notes for this uh, session. Anyways, I still see the numbers to be very less. I had to discuss something uh, really important in this session. Um, and I wish that uh, there are many people who will join us. I'm hoping that you people will send a message to others saying that. Uh, so, so the the um, uh, the ice breaking is that 
I plan to handle some bootcamp sessions this week, given that it's a review session for you. I want to see if I can make programming interesting, not just interesting, but also uh, the, the intriguing facts of programming, the nice parts of programming. Why can't programming be as interesting as a football game? All right. So I, I'm trying to see if I can do that, bring those things to your desk. It requires some time, of course, time and interaction with the instructor. Okay. I'm trying to give that this week. And given that you have your reviews, I, I'm sure you don't have a lot of assignment related headache to cater to, right? Is, is that fine? Can we go ahead with that uh, today? So if you think we can, I need more inputs for that. I want your friends to be around. Kindly SMS your friends, WhatsApp your friends, mail your friends, or even call them and ask them to quickly join in case you know, of course, it's an online degree. You may not know each other, but in case you have formed your own informal uh, WhatsApp groups that this, please post the message there and we'll start in a minute's time. Hello, Smita. I'm, I'm saying hi to everyone who have uh, switched on the video, acknowledging them. Harshit, I good think, evening, sir. Good evening. Harshit, I think I gave you a hi already. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Aditya, yes. Mehul, yes. Harshal, yes. Yeah, so difficulty of the exams. We'll start with that. Uh, Aditya was the one who brought that up, right? Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So uh, let, let's start with that topic itself. Right now. Um, Karthik, if it's okay with you, can we have an interactive session um, addressing their uh, concerns, if any, so that I can also understand it better. If you're yes, around, sir, yeah. yeah okay, so, so let's make it interactive. Then I'll start in. What's the time now? Maybe five um, fifteen. We'll start. We'll give three minutes time, hoping that many people will join. Hmm? Yeah. So we have also sent out a reminder. I think we are sending out one. So okay, good. Good, no problem. Is there background noise audible? Because there's some construction work happening. Let me know if it's audible. I'll, I'll just reduce the interference. No, it's not no, audible. Sir, not at all. There are 34, 35 students on YouTube. 35 on YouTube, is it? Okay. So I'll start exactly at 5.15, irrespective of what's the case. Hello, Yogendra Singh. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Every, everyone with a video on gets a hi from each other, of course. Of course, you can also say hi to each other. So where are you all from? Which which part of uh, India? Uh, I'm, I'm Yogendra. Um, Harshal is from? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Maharashtra. Good. Uh, Mehul? Good evening, sir. I'm from Maharashtra, Pune. Maharashtra. Good. Uh, Aditya? I'm from Mumbai, sir. Mumbai. Shahid? So I'm from UP, Bareilly. UP. Smita? Uh, sir, basically, I'm from Bihar, but right now I'm JNK. 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 Nice. Harshad. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Sir, I'm from Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Excellent. Excellent. Yogendra. Uh, good evening, sir. I'm yeah. Yogendra from Madhya Pradesh, but right now I'm posted at Chajar Haryana. Okay. Good. Nice. Oh, hi, Ajitesh. I, of course, know some of you from the previous session. So we, we're just saying hi and talking to each other if, when the camera is on. Um, you, you, see, you see, when the camera is not on, it becomes cognitively very taxing. I don't know how some of you people manage the other uh, uh, sessions. Uh, I personally think the camera should be on, the mic should be loud, uh, lighting should be decent. Otherwise, you know, already we are at home uh, spending the post-corona um, uh, affected life, uh, especially the education. Uh, right, so let, let's try to make it as interactive as possible. Hello, Rashmi. Hello, Soumya. Hello, Kushi. Where are you all from? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, I'm from Chapra, Bihar. Bihar. Okay. Soumya? Hi, sir. Uh, I'm basically from Kerala. Now I'm in UAE. UAE. Okay. Rashmi? Good evening, sir. I'm from Odisha. Odisha. Okay. So why, why I'm asking is um, uh, lately there has been this flood affected um, 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 uh, places, especially in Kerala, and it has taken many lives too. Uh, and I, if you watch the news, at least when I watched it today morning, NDTV, if I'm not wrong, um, they said that they could not give a red alert while orange alert uh, they could manage. Orange means what? Just be careful. Red means what? Pack up and leave. Right? So something has gone wrong in the predictive system, the, the, the prediction mechanism that they have used, that they could not predict um, the downpour of uh, 
what was the 200 millimeters of rain right this is data science gone wrong or data science not known right sometimes uh, you can have outliers when it's going to uh, downpour heavily you may not be able to figure that out uh, right so one has to be um, uh, careful enough to observe why this became an outlier and why we could not detect it okay if what if your fire alarms don't ring and there's huge fire in your ground floor and first floor people don't get to know at all that can be a huge mishap you see so one has to be very careful and check what has gone wrong here um you see in this connection i'll tell you a small story the story being um there's something called the blackout bug you should take a look at it it's available online and not much of details is available but then it was a big story in 2004 if i'm if i remember it right in c program they had coded how the power distribution happens in us right and some error happened in the code and there was a blackout for like one full day 24 hours or more i believe i don't remember it right but there's a huge this was this is called the blackout bug google for it and they figured out that the problem was not with anything else everything was there power was available to be supplied and there was no reason they had to stop it but then there was an error in the c code because of a misplaced break statement you know what's a break statement in python right so um, instead of putting it in one place they put it in some other place it did break the the power from uh, landing into the houses so that was the cause of a breakout uh, the blackout bug uh, which is very celebrated today uh, and is a good motivation for software testing right such things can go wrong we don't know and it can cause lives blackout bug if the power goes we all will probably socialize given that our social mobile phones will be out of charge very soon it's a good thing to for the blackout to happen at least in our country you know we are, we are very glued to the uh, screens but then in general imagine the earthquake not being predicted the fire alarms to go, uh, uh, missing to uh, awaken you with a ring and uh, you know flood alerts gone wrong right uh, this way i feel now i'm connecting to what i'm uh, discussing today this way i feel we need a lot of data scientists the ones that not just do data analytics but can also build systems and also can figure out and troubleshoot the systems okay while we at the individual level worry about salaries packages uh, placements etc collectively some percentage of our worry should also be how can we apart from being individualistic how can we collectively come together and solve the problems of firstly our country and secondly the world <laughs> and and third um, of the human race in general respecting all other living beings around us maybe i should invert this uh, uh, this is an ascending order of uh, preference so we should respect the uh, living beings around us and the race and then the world and then the country and then go to our nearest neighborhood so that way i think you all will make a huge impact on uh, the country's future we really need good deal of data scientists we don't have many of them even the ones that we have uh, i would say cannot be so well trained because when they studied they could not study data analytics because there were no professors no books no uh, realization that data sciences is important and now we have it on a table that you do it or you know will suffer it's it's like the uh, programming literacy of uh, 80s anyone who knew how to write a hello world program was recruited and today anyone who can do some linear regression gets recruited linear regression is the simplest algorithm used in data analytics anyways so with this let's start our session it is 519 i hope everybody has joined we have 60 61 very good doubled up given that i gave 5 minutes um, and i think nobody will lose out anything here is the protocol for today's discussion we will have you people talk but talking should i have observed many a times that talking goes on very personally between one candidate and the instructor or teacher let's not do that what we'll do is you type your uh, what you want to say on the chat box if the topic interests me i will ask you to talk it out and we'll we'll go interactive i think that's a better uh, way to handle it uh, in your own interest because i don't want it to become way too personal in the sense that uh, um, a student goes on and on uh, deeply into a question and others don't understand also it, it leads to boredom right so let's do that uh, the theme of today's discussion is two in number we'll start with how are your exams going how, how was your recently concluded uh, uh, um, uh, test and second is i plan to have a small boot camp like sessions this week by boot camp i don't mean continuous sessions but uh, maybe 3 4 sessions of 2 hours duration i'll go slightly deeply into python by deeply i don't mean complicated stuff i mean i will help ease out the uh, skill sets i mean i'll help i'll help point out the skill set so that you can pick it up easily right i i hope i'm clear here it will be mo even more clear by the end of this today's session for for once i'm not going to pick my terminal and type the code which i'll be doing for the rest of this week 
All right, I'll only be deciding a few things. Let's start with what went wrong with the test. I must remind you, first you should type, I have my window open, I will see, and then I'll request you to uh, unmute and then talk to me. Okay, that way we can be organized. So Vinktesh Gangadhar has raised his hand. Vinktesh, please type your um, concern. Um, maybe briefly, very brief, write the abstract there and details you can talk over uh, the mic. It was limited time, says uh, Uma. Okay. Uh, Uma, you can unmute and maybe you can tell me in case you want to tell me. Speed of coding, she is, says Venkatesh. Okay. Soumya yes. says portal had technical issues which made us not. Okay, let's go in this order. So we can start with Uma. Uh, good evening. No, uh, after summit, yeah. uh, we can stop for the uh, just a minute, Uma. Um, uh, after summit, we can stop. Maybe I'll ask you to again. Uh, type in your chat and you can type in the chat. Okay. Let's first start with Uma, Venkatesh, Saumya, Samit in this order. Keep your hands raised only if you have typed your message already within this list of Uma, Venkatesh, uh, Saumya, Samit. Um, maybe Ajitesh will be included, not anymore. It will disturb me if you people type more chat messages. For the time being, please don't type. Okay. It's a request. Okay. Uma, please go on. Yes, sir. Uh, for me, only the time is a problem. I, I'm a beginner and this is the first time. Uh, the questions I didn't uh, feel uh, more tough. It was easier, but uh, because of my runtime error and things like that. And I'm not used to the time constraint exam, sir. Assignment, we took leisurely a lot of time. And this is the first time because with time. So I find it very difficult with time. One minute, please go on. I'll just get my pen. Okay. So with time, yes, sir. It's a new thing. Okay. First time, maybe. Uh, can you please give us assignment or some with time constraints so that we will also use to time. We are not used to time constraint exam. That is the only thing. Otherwise, it's fine. So, uh, and, uh, for I think... Uh, okay, so I, I'll address that. I'll address that. So yeah. um, uh, there are two things that Uma said. She said that it was doable given enough time. Right? So the, I, I, I like the clarity in the um, uh, point there because... If you think it was doable and time was a constraint, we must see if the time constraint was ignored by me uh, while setting the questions, or does it require sharpening of the skills from your side? Let's see. Probably it's, it's always both. You know, generally when we discuss if it's this or that, generally it's a combination of this and that. Okay, let me make a note of that. Uh, it was may not be easy, but not tough, is what she says. And time was less. All right, good. Um, for this, if I may address this. I think a beginner takes time to even talk. You have seen a baby talk, you know, the words per minute is very less. You people are like babies right now. Okay. Trying to talk to the um, uh, editor, the ID or whatever interface you use. And you, you're very slow there and things get even worse if you're a two finger typist. And I'm sure many people are one finger typists, right? One, one, one mouse in one hand and you, you type in the other hand. So maybe you should sharpen these skills, which I have been telling you people. Uh, it will help you in the future too, if not now. Definitely now, but, uh, but certainly in the future too, right? So sharpen your skills. Learning typing requires only three days. There are several crash courses available online on YouTube. Go ahead. And the idea is to uh, use the keyboard without uh, seeing it, being an eight-finger typist. That aside, it goes without saying. It, it's very useful a skill. But secondly, um, one problem that I have faced whenever I have learned a new programming language is despite me knowing how to program, in general, think programmatically, it is tough to see how to print something in a particular language. Okay, print with you know left flushing, right flushing, or center uh, alignment, or uh, display some special characters. It is done differently in different ways. Okay, the same puja, but different religions do the different different uh, uh, temples with a different way. Right, it, it takes some time for us to get used to their style. Okay, uh, although it's a matter of time, it's high time that you um, people learn the syntax. And keep it in place. Learning syntax doesn't happen memory-wise; it happens by several hours of uh, uh, typing. Okay. For instance, right now, if you ask me to print something in Python, um, a, very, a slightly advanced way, I will not know it. Please note. But I'm confident that I can look it up quickly and then do it quickly. Observe the words quickly and quickly here. Quickly and quickly because I have tried doing it before. I know what is what. I'm at least confident that oh, this stuff I may not remember. Very quickly, I can look it up and then do it. By look it up, I mean look it up from your mind or from your book that is allowed, whatever is the exam format and things like that. So this is my second tip. This will only come by practice. Do not try to memorize. Memorization absolutely doesn't work. That's the one reason where 
all the geeks all the so called toppers um, cannot do as well as they otherwise would in their history lessons when it comes to programming right here here is a true test of one's ability to think and only think you try by hearting you try mugging we can twist and turn the uh, question so that you will be completely lost uh, it it's it's that way a uh, uh, professor's delight to check who has really learned and who hasn't anyways that aside the tips are two in number one is of course learn uh, typing or just be fast with your keyboard use your um, um, sort of when I mean, get used to the kind of keyboard that you're using if you're going to a new place understand what kind of keyboards they are using what kind of interface they have and just get trained to it sometimes you may not know it but but at least you will have a rough idea right going from um, you know keyboard to laptop is difficult coming from laptop to keyboard is sort of easy uh, but still i i i feel environment also matters a lot your, your emotional quotient is also important apart from your intelligence quotient okay so keyboard and practicing quite a bit uh, keep this yardstick 200 hours of uh, programming is required for you to say for you to claim that you know programming okay that will only happen if you spend so much time you you sort of get a different kind of wisdom when you spend 200 hours on an ide doing something so people keep asking me what should i do what should i program take one program and keep doing it 100 times i keep telling this right do the same program multiple times you will be uh, learning uh, uh, syntax very well by the way connecting to this what we'll be discussing this week on the boot camp is doing a very advanced project which is an idea basically executing that involves seeing a big piece as smaller pieces and getting all of them um done related to what we are talking in fact this is related to what uma asked when a big problem appears to you like the kitchen example that i told you if you want to do something maybe vegetable pulao you should understand first that you should go and get stuff task 1 task 2 is you should send someone to get stuff task 3 is you should slice them up slice the veggies up right and then get your tawa ready and there are so many things that you should get your get your um, uh, rice cooked Uh, rather boiled steamed whatever right so you you see that one piece of making pulao involves 10 different pieces once you understand this half your problem is solved now it is for you to execute these 10 pieces all right how do you execute these 10 pieces how do you put them together stitch them together and finale should be one solution for that one problem which involves segregating that problem into multiple pieces and then solving them individually clubbing them together and boom you get the final answer All right this again is a skill set to stay patient and to try coding in a modular way and this will train you to become fast we're getting back to the the idea of fast only i use this example to say that you will become fast when you do a deep project multiple times so don't miss this project this week i will sort of handhold some of you if required i'll also be active on the forum have multiple sessions even have custom sessions outside the formal setup if you want for some people right but let our motive be we will be able to code this advanced idea by the end of this week we're starting one this is monday thing. we have flat 6 days by the end we'll be able to do it one okay. more thing sir uh, i yeah, think Omar, pressure yeah. handling pressure handling was tough that's the main i came home and i cracked the two common problems i was very sad because just in the relaxed mood i really solved it and i missed there i was really upset for that okay maybe uh, some pressure handling yeah No, on a lighter note on a, on a humorous clearer. on a humorous note some pranayama breathing <laughs> techniques might help I'm not, I'm, I'm, not yeah. I'm not joking i'm not joking yeah yeah i'm not joking we we get clearer. pressurized yeah absolutely absolutely it goes Still without clearer. saying majority of the I, i recently had this experience of my students um roughly 50 plus of them taking up an examination doing miserably bad but once they went back home i told them why was this difficult the idea was simply this i didn't give out the idea i just gave a motivational side of the problem and told them why was this difficult i see this as a very easy and all of them solved it in less than an hour time while they could not solve it for 5 to 6 hours they got got sort of they got a shock from the very question itself that they couldn't manage new place new people new setup you know that has an impact on new people like how when you play in your home home homeland any sport uh, that country generally wins when india plays in india it generally knows all the pitch eden garden or um, you know saurav ganguly used to back then uh, you know he he would never fail to hit a century if it was eden garden his own place in kolkata but otherwise he would uh, struggle outside right so it it's like that um it's difficult you go to a new place you have never seen that place and you start coding you stuck in an error and you you lose heart and you give up and you get up right so the point is 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 to sharpen your skills and get used to um you know handling ple- uh, uh, the pressure uh, i i know many je students who do this 
they would go to a new place and take up the mock exam they would not do the mock exam in their house they want to you know um, uh, put their uh, stress levels to test right some of these things will help but i don't think we should break our head much if you do the several dozens of hours of practice by this time which you should have achieved and achieve go towards 200 hour rule that i said things should be easy all right so we'll now move to the next person which is venkatesh gangadhar please go ahead venkatesh your question Hi, was sir. yeah Hi, sir. my problem is regarding speed of coding uh, which i think we addressed yeah yes sir uh, after this uh, last week exams what i felt was the common questions were a uh, little bit tough for me because i am new to coding but the uh, batch questions were very easy because it was all related to practice assignment i spent most of my time in common questions even there i couldn't achieve seven out of seven results but uh, by the time i i tried to complete this one i was able to complete out of uh, out of four i completed just three programs so i felt my coding speed is very is the main issue and also understanding the no, question I, i think it shouldn't be see and unless unless um, your coding is like you are look up the print statement kind of a coder i don't think it should matter a much if it's mattering then there's something wrong there could be from my side or could be from your side okay i i'll try to see if it was something wrong from my side in the sense that did i expect uh, rather did we expect you to solve questions that you might take more time programming according to me should not be time constrained but then what do we do it's an, an external environment where you go sit and then work that's sort of rented out to a third party and there is an end time to it we cannot help so i i don't think i, I think i have mostly addressed the uh, problem i i look at it um, a little further let's look at what to do next if you have something to say outside what i have stated right now point number 1 i did not have enough time probably skill set related issue typing might help although uh, no programming lessons will endorse typing because multiple many, many programmers do not know typing still they manage but I, as given that i have seen that eight finger typing has helped me i would suggest the same for you see and you will you will recommend it to people okay skill set improvement enhancement sharpen and then learn a skill like uh, typing and don't be a print statement look up uh, kind of a programmer uh, tr- try to try to remember a few things and remembering should not happen by mugging up once again it should happen by practice okay Correct. take this tip you if you're trying to remember stuff you will definitely face a lot of issues and i would strongly suggest whatever is given already be it activity quiz 1 uh, to 3 um, should not appear in your exam it should not be memory based it should not be the uh, same difficulty uh, uh, familiarity based it should be you should be challenged with a new question there right so tomorrow if you go to a, a, a workplace you cannot expect them to give you work Uh, in the same 30 programs that we conducted in the uh, subject in in our in our college right so let it be like this i i'm perfectly um, i don't think we should go back on um, giving new stuff but then my my point to note is which i have noted is i would like to take a look at it at uh, at your in your perspective being in your shoes and try to see if time was really a constraint in that case next time onwards we, we can probably give a little more time and keep the difficulty levels the same Okay, so anything else that I did not cover, if someone wants to point out, yes, in the interest sir. of our time, please do not be repetitive with the questions. Not repeated, sir. Show me, sir. Sir, ha, Samit, please go ahead. Yeah, one particular point I want to discuss with you and want to take your opinion on this. That is, <clears throat> in coding, I observe sometimes a problem didn't crack even if I sit for one hour because I am start thinking. in the same line again and again just here and there but if i take a break and again come back that prob- that problem gets solved within 5 minutes because it is cracked suddenly it uh, appear oh i have to do in this way so particularly this situation arises in during the exam i got into the time pressure and not able to crack in this particular situation you may also experience same kind of thing in your time also how do you tackle this thing means when i am thinking a logic and it is written uh, cracked then i have to come out from that box and have to think in other way uh, because when i try yeah, Samit, to think, i got the question yeah, so i got yeah. the question um um so uh, mainly as an example if you see when you are uh, uh, trying to fly a rocket if you if you people ever try to do that if i if i were to try to do that first problem i'll face is motion sickness uh, people do puke inside a inside especially astronauts 
they vomit immediately the moment the uh, their uh, uh, you know the engine starts okay because the motion sickness is too very high there it moves in all directions it's super fast and stuff like that what they train is put them in a simulator and then make them to control their motion sickness is basically a mental block they say it's psychological okay and maybe triggered by vertigo but psychological this is very similar to programming right where your stress levels contributes negatively for your performance while you actually know the answer to the question if you were to think a little more deep you get it like how samit says five more minutes and i'm done but i did not do this five minutes i did not even get the post five minute high when i uh, sort of tried taking a break in between this generally happens it happens very often and the only way to break this is to you know do the uh, the uh, the rocket i mean uh, astronauts kind of a uh, uh, technique where you ask simulate that stress levels and then see ensure that you maintain uh, the sort of i mean you you're, you're at peace even despite you being um, stressed now by that i mean you should challenge yourself give a right take a question start a timer and then ensure that you finish within that okay if not extend that by half an hour extend the point is to be stressed and not feel the stress remember the hump example i told you when you when you see a st- speed breaker the point is we should we don't panic we probably will panic the first time when we are driving the car second time third time maybe the first one month next year onwards the moment you see the speed breaker you know very well that you should take a deep breath slow down cross the speed breaker and then say yeah one less speed breaker in the city right so uh, i think there's no other go pressure will be there the point is to perform despite this pressure although personally speaking i'm not a big fan of time based exams but what there's no other as they say democracy is the terrible of all ideas uh, winston churchill said this whenever we say oh democracy is great democracy is not that good despite you make a list of all possible ways to rule the country democracy is the least terrible similarly of all possible ways in which we can check you the least terrible way is a time based time constraint based programming Uh, exercise in an external environment there is no better way of course we can discuss debate on what could be a better way and things like that and spend our time people have done that already and converged to this so let's not get there all right so try to see how you can do your best uh, in this kind of an environment last suggestion is make a group of five six people and ask some seventh person to give you a question in a time uh, constrained environment sit and finish it okay let him evaluate your code do more of these things all right within your small group that that really helps right but but even uh, i i would say these are all hyperbole uh, not really required if your skill sets are good the programs will appear like you know small pots that require a stone to be thrown that's all it's also fun to uh, you know get indulged in such an activity where you break pots <laughs> as they call pot shots right so i don't think it's a problem if you practice well it will appear like a very silly issue for you okay so i see the questions are repetitive so i will go by um portal had technical issues this i should address soumya anyway you are next in the list go ahead um uh, sir uh, what happened was uh, whenever i print something i felt it is whenever i print a list uh, the kind of uh, screen is good getting kind of stretched uh, like uh, the buttons test run and submit is getting out of the screen and that's it you can't do anything more so and, uh, uh, debug okay. also not available debugger so is not without, available no that yeah, that's i'm taking print, it up i'm uh, trying to see i know i am trying to see if i can take this up and then help you people out respecting the constraints that uh, you know uh, the admin has i, I see yeah. that they are also trying their level best to fix this we we will have a solution soon yeah, meanwhile can like, i please call because, karthik uh, ah, somya yeah yeah no like uh, i know the code but just because of i try to print that uh, i couldn't proceed further and uh, i was well, let's discuss technical um, yeah, so your case uh, is a very particular case which which you can always ask um, the uh, ts to help you out instructors to help you out with in case there was a genuine issue there but then um, i would like to address the technical issues in general okay yeah, i, I request the, to bring in kartik issue, here that's what i want to kartik can you uh, yeah sure somya sure somya well acknowledged um kartik can you come in so that we could discuss a couple of matters in this direction yeah, sir, yeah. um uh, kartik so i i'm making it interactive um you can always cut down on the on this part if you don't want some of it to go live probably uh, it's informal talking but then we should talk uh, there should be some portal for us to talk um so there there are a couple of genuine concerns but i would like to understand more um, on the on, on on both the issues from our issues and their issues too so first is there could be some technical glitch how is it generally handled the center handles it 
exceptions are uh, respected and things like that already because npdel has huge uh, um, experience in this and uh, your office also has access to npdel like resources i have a feeling this is completely solved correct I, we needn't worry about it but still when is a technical error how to handle because portal level technical error that saumya is referring to um right can happen so you type something it's it's hung so what do we do next uh yes sir yeah so we are actually addressing these issues so the best that we can you know promise is that uh, in the next exam we'll address all these things we'll make the sure that the okay. portal is uh, okay okay right. no problem no problem so um they it will be acknowledged um in case you have any concerns always keep as in the cc right to support but keep us in the cc or right to us and keep support in the cc right um first question second is uh, karthik this is of great concern to me that um programs can become time constrained at times okay yeah, yeah. It, this could this needn't be a mistake from our side nor from their side but it may end up becoming that instance i am thinking more at the pseudo code level before coding and time just flies and i uh, underestimate on the time taken to type it out and debug and then finish it the program is pretty simple but then i underestimate and many of them if they are underestimating probably something has gone wrong from all our side okay this time constraint based thing how do we resolve it no one way so my, my point is there are two ways to do this one is give them some coding exercises okay in 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 the order of hundreds of course it's very tiring on our part but it's a good solution give them some 100 plus coding exercises and pick only n choose r from that and give them for the live exam okay if you have done it you will do it so we, we expect you to finish this code uh, we even give the time expected time to finish this code 20 minutes 25 minutes some people will mug, mug things up that is why you do it in the order of hundreds very taxing for the instructors but it's a very feasible solution if we can spend the time number one number two is if you're going to go innovative um, rather creative and make create questions that are in line with what they have solved of same difficulty difficulty again is um, um perception based okay it, it's 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 my opinion that it's as difficult as that but the students may not think so right anything that appears new becomes psychologically difficult you know i've been playing uh, uh, cricket in a, a brown ball you color that black exactly the same uh, physics will uh, will be there but the black ball will slightly stress me to begin with now i probably will uh, wear a stronger helmet or will be will there be a psychological battle between me and the bowler and things like this happens definitely and we we acknowledge it is there any way we can solve this part it's a little um difficult there is no answer to this as i ask you but then is there something that we can do just so that um maybe we can run a mock on azels so, and try to see if we can do it actually we have done all these things sir 100 so there are like uh, about 100 problems that uh, have already been configured and these four common uh, no, sorry the four uh, questions that they have been asked like right? uh, they are all uh, without changing a syllable they are the exact questions that have been configured so oh. um, So oh, this is the. I'm, I'm so I'm so sorry for not being aware of this. Um, somebody told me, and in fact, many people agreed, seconded that that some questions were brand new. Ah, three were brand new for everyone. So three, three were brand new, brand new. Yeah, and, and out and others were inchusal, correct? And others were inchusal. Yeah, inchusal. Okay, so yeah. by inchusal, I mean out of n objects, you pick r objects randomly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Four objects. Different people will get. So, uh, I, uh, what is the total number of questions? Seven out of which four are uh, that four they should have already seen and seen? Three, three are totally new. Yeah. How many of you found these four questions easy to solve? Can you all raise your hand? How many of you found these four questions very easy to solve? Uh, out of the other three question, was it time wise difficult or there was inherent difficulty? The question itself that you didn't understand it, it took a lot of uh, time to solve it, not code it, but solve it. So option one. you think i had enough time i would have done it but i did not you know reach the finish mark because of time constraint even if you had given me second point even if you had given me a lot of time the difficulty was so much that i don't think i would have come out with the answer okay can you just type the one or two uh, answer here right uh, one is i needed more time the question was not difficult whatever uma said okay uh, two is uh, uh, no matter how much time you would have given i wouldn't have answered it Okay, so Karthik, it it looks like they all are saying uh, time constraint, except for a couple of them with uh, two. 
um and um, we don't know i mean so this we have to run a scientifically uh, very controlled experiment <laughs> to really understand if um uh, it was uh, lucky enough from their side or our side is there any way we can fix this uh, karthik ah uh, yes sir yeah so maybe we can run a poll and ask this exact question and afterwards we can always you know uh, if, if uh, change the number of questions or change the proportion of old old versus new or reduce the number of questions or make them slightly easier so that is certainly possible yeah. no problem so we we could do that it's a it's also the first time experience the last time we never had this kind of a setup only this time we are trying it right so we may also sort of uh, uh, we may not be perfect there in understanding what is the level of the students also this also becomes a problem karthik for us to have a, our perception of what is the average of the class is easy in a typical classroom but not so in a big classroom like this right we do okay. not know what is the average and we may challenge them a little above average or little below average okay either either thing is not uh, actually uh, helpful um, coming from our side right so okay so i i would like to invite venkatesh to tell me replit was user friendly in terms of expressions he says in general let's say replit was very user friendly the interface that we provide doesn't seem to have anything correct it's very raw text uh, like yes, interface sir. yes that itself the very sight of it can be actually discouraging i'm i'm sorry uh, i i i'm on the side of side of students for a for a minute okay it can be discouraging sir, when we one minute one minute just just yes, sir. I, i'm being your lawyer and fighting your case just give me a minute <laughs> so uh, um it 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 so happens that you see a new id if i see a new id the first thing is i will you know wipe my sweat off because i'll be sweating i don't know what is where how to run the code itself becomes a problem i saw the interface though karthik showed me um it's not that difficult it's a very plain interface uh but then this interface can be a problem karthik i think we should work on it okay anyway we had a discussion just now me and karthik had a discussion and uh, karthik told it, told me that it's the work is already on we'll try to see if it can be made a little more user friendly my suggestion would be replit has integration possibility okay wherever you saw a small notepad right in that place replit can give its uh, sort of mini id I, I think they have such a facility. So let's see if that's possible. Then we can uh, have it there. But uh, what I don't want to, uh, I will get there. I, I'll get what I don't want to um, see happen. Before that, Karthik wanted to say something. Go on. Ah uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that replicate because uh, that possibility is there. Uh, right. Sure. So we can always uh, integrate that into it. Shouldn't be a problem. Or um, make it. sort of say it shouldn't be difficult for us to give them as light white weight ide there on their systems they can type it out finish the code upload it on uh, whatever interface we are giving on the basic interface that should also be fine you copy paste it once it's done you have an ide on your desktop some ide common ide light weight ide let's say it's easy to install or even access to replit okay you finish the code and copy paste the code across the browsers i understand the copying etc etc is a problem so karthik uh, very nicely paraphrased he says uh, sir majority of the problems is meant for minority of the people but unfortunately it, it bothers the majority of the population uh, right majority of the rules is meant for minority of the people and the majority of the rules bothers majority of the population who are actually innocent here right so uh, anyways it's it's it should be it's fixable I, i i clearly see that it is but what i don't want to happen and i want to um, sort of uh, pump you people up um, your your uh, um, uh, hope and confidence is that this should not make you feel low this should not make you feel that i am not competent right i feel programming is like running you pick it up you should you you do it slowly and you can do it to our exam should not say anything about you of course there is a marks like setup as i said democracy is the terrible of all possible ideas this marks thing is also the it's is the least terrible of all possible uh, strategies so let's see if we can make this least terrible strategy the most optimal one by 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 tweaking it all right so rest assured i will see to it that we do something about the interface level uh, issues okay so if i have not addressed your concern can you people copy paste it once again because a lot of uh, comments happening here uh, i would i would have ignored your uh, remark my anirban says huh? uh, no no wait 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 so the protocol is we type the message and then i read it out and i ask you to unmute uh, benchmarking considering the standard of the last test what is the ideal time ought to be taken by an industry job ready python programmer to complete this test okay anirban i'll address that Uh, gurneet ah uh, gurneet was talking about a particular case that she faced gurneet please go ahead yeah so 
uh, this is obviously my first time giving an OPPE okay. and we were supposed to have a mock test, I guess, but that, that time they were trying to solve some bugs. So we really didn't have a timed mock test. They were just trying to see if the portal works properly, etc. So my issue is again, like what Soumya said, that zoom in, zoom out issue that was obviously there, like it suddenly goes out of proportion and then you have to extremely zoom out to kind of click on the text button, etc. And one more thing is like when we are talking about private uh, tests, the ones obviously which we cannot see, but they show after submission that, you know, you have completed six out of eight or eight out of eight. Out, eight out. Over there, I guess there should be some way of, you know, hinting where you might have missed out. Like, obviously, there are different type of inputs which lead to different type of private tests, right? So, obviously, okay. we cannot, with the time constraint, we cannot consider every single scenario. You know, we might have missed out the negative number scenario or etc. Or some zero case. The public-private test is very difficult to make it perfect. See, that's, I think that's one of the unsolved problems in software testing, as you know, because right? So that, that, that's going to be difficult, but the ID level, see what, what can be done is at the, at, at the ID level, we can give you facilities so that you don't um, mess up with the codes logic and you get it to the level that your public cases work really well and leave it to God for private cases to uh, uh, work well is what I would say, but nothing much can be done at the private public case. This is, this is actually a debate I have been hearing from a long time. Also, it's an interesting research question to see um, if your code passes all the public cases, will it pass the private cases too? Right, Karthik, I think it's an interesting research question. How many how many public cases should we give so that the private cases with a high confidence you can say will also pass, right? So, uh, Gurneet, I understand your uh, concern. Maybe you can uh, work at the level of your code and then leave it. Generally, you know, I have seen our own code. That's what that's why your operating system keeps updating 10.1, 10.11, 10.32, etc. That's because there will be some code that they'll try to fix. And the uh, test cases is basically users sending... Uh, uh, you know, uh, errors or, uh, you know, situations of a system getting hanged and things like that. Okay. Still, it's a, it's a nice question. Good that you brought this up. It's a, it's actually an interesting um, doubt, I must say, but the answer is it, it's, it's very difficult. And we also don't put our mind so much in preparing public and test care, private test cases. Input instance, we probably create some 10, call five as public, five as uh, private, which, which is also, uh, you know, understandable, right? We cannot uh, invest so much of time in um, so this is like if I want to uh, insulate my house for a possible war-like situation tomorrow, it will cost me several millions of dollars, and the possibility of a war is very less. Let's hope so, uh, right? Uh, so the point is not to get there. This this will be quite expensive for us. It's still a very interesting research question. So one okay. more yeah. thing, yeah, one more news. thing. Like yeah. I faced a lot of technical issues with, because of which I had to, you know, I wasn't able to complete common question, two common questions. Mm -hmm. So that. And since I hadn't clicked submit because I was having issues with my code, so I wasn't willing to submit a wrong code. It doesn't make sense to submit a wrong code. So that's like com com completely contemplates like the 40 marks of the entire quiz goes into How the is it like bin. you can always attempt the common questions first, uh, right? And then go to the uncommon ones later at the end. Yeah, I did the f common questions first itself, but then mm -hmm. there was some technical big mega oh, technical, technical glitch. Glitches. Technical glitch. And yeah, I don't know how to. So maybe we'll get back to you. I'm only I'm I'm new to this problem. Only now I'm getting to know. Uh, <laughs> let's see how this can be uh, solved. I have made a note of that um, here, and I will get back to you people either over the forum or Karthik will get back to you. People. So when you're talking about interfaces, like mm -hmm. over here when uh, when you said now some people try to use print again and again to check if they're going on the right track. Hmm. like they wait for the sample output to you know kind of go in the right way so in hmm. that time it takes time for the test run to you it's, know work it takes a long time it yeah. takes a so long that's what, time see even see we, we even i think uh, not just me i think um, anybody who is an expert in the area also it's very difficult to come and see for this question what is the actual time taken um, how much time should we give and there'll be a huge standard deviation uh, given so many people with different kinds of uh, background. No, so actually, Mehul, can you type your question meanwhile so that I can see? And then, so uh, what I used Mehul, to do, I used to do Mehul as a Mehul practice is use mm -hmm. Google Collaboratory, the collaboratory notebook. It kind of does it really quick. You type a code there and then you just see the outputs. I used to, you know, kind of update my uh, graded assignment codes in that no, way. No, Gurneet, this is, I think it's always, it, it's less about one problem. It's about how is yeah. this problem going to affect all of you? 
okay seeing it in that direction i feel this is going to be a problem there's nothing much we can do but still at the technical glitch level that is completely we the owners is on us we own the problem and we should fix that okay which we'll do i'll take one question from um um oh, anirban anirban please uh, let me paraphrase the question you have made the question really clear but it's good if you can talk go ahead anirban mehul will come to you Uh, greetings from Kolkata. I just uh, said it all in the question, sir. I don't have anything further to add. Anirban, the voice is very low. What I'll do is I'll paraphrase your question and then uh, go ahead with an answer. Uh, what's what's what, my question is with respect to benchmarking? Considering the standard of the last test, what is the ideal time ought to be taken by an industry? um job ready python programmer to complete this test again most of these th- things are done in a, a sort of uh, uh, i mean it's a guess work what kind of question should i ask for my um, secretary okay i want to recruit a secretary i want to interview what kind of questions to ask is completely um, i mean left to my discretion and none of the questions that i ask will really tell me whether the secretary is good or not will be good or not right so a similar thing holds good here also uh, it's very tough for, we will set some questions but we are not really sure will these questions the way ias exams happen are we really selecting the best possible administrators for the country tomorrow okay this has been a question from a long time what kind of test for what kind of occupation or what kind of um, higher education um, goes without saying maybe it comes with experience for uh some people and bunch of experienced people do really well uh that's the max so if i were to tell you once again i would say uh most of the companies expect you to translate pseudo code to code most of the questions will be in my opinion not very how to put it i mean it will not be long winded at the same time it will not even be straight forward if you have solved straight forward questions you can unwind the question and solve it for instance a simple sorting technique can be concealed in the form of a real world example where the answer is sorting the data points given you must sort of see that point look at this nuts and bolts example uh, it's basically something called uh, quick sort um, right so it is beautifully concealed as nuts and bolts problem uh, while you will uh, not see that unless you understand the question really well it's more at the level of english skills than programming skills right so the moment you read that you know that this program is same as this problem let me solve this problem this is called reduction and conquer you reduce this problem to some other problem and then solving this helps you solve this okay so that's a, again a tough question to uh, address there is no hard and fast rule the only idea is solve a lot of questions invest a lot of uh, hours into programming at least 200 hours to master a programming language and then several hundreds of hours to master the uh, logical thinking part the c computational thinking that you did right that's a big subject and many questions there are not known even for the human race the only way out is to know whatever is easy for us to know invest more time you will learn more songs there is no way for you to learn all the songs every song costs some time right okay so i will see if i can answer okay mehul suggestion yeah go ahead uh, yes sir so one thing i've noticed sir uh, i don't know why but most of the times when we are a uh, lot of time we are on the portal without making any changes maybe just thinking or something it tends to get timed out and then it redirects us back to the dashboard and when we log back in the entire code has been disappeared so like it's a very you have access to notepad or something or um, some document there which soft document that you can save and keep your code is there a so possibility you can do that but like it's not possible during the exam right we can't leave the screen you cannot leave the screen yeah, okay so which means you cannot do that okay you cannot do yeah. that is the answer um all right i think i will have a special meeting with my team to understand all this i think they all know it see they would have uh, karthik i'm sure karthik okay. you are aware of all these problems and also the solution is in progress right now uh, yes sir we have already noted this so developers are working on it working on it okay so now see this is the plus part and the minus part of being the foundation batch of course you are the second batch but still it's the foundation uh, uh, yes. uh, uh, timeline wise it's foundational right so we are also figuring out how to do it and you guys are also um, uh, you know you don't know what's the next bomb that's going to be dropped this is how it's going to be uh, you know enjoy it but at the same time if there's any problem from our side definitely will it will be compensated okay uh, with benefit of doubt given to you people okay, okay so sir. next okay. question if you want to ask a question copy paste it once again uh, mm, these are technical questions about your exams i think uh, one particular solution for the id which we okay mehul done there was an issue regarding end time 
uh, log back. Most of these, I think, are frequently occurring issues, which Karthik, you can make a note of all the chat messages, uh, please, and try to see if there's something new that we are unaware of. Um, yeah. Just a second. We can copy copy before submitting. It's a tip given by previous batch. Yeah, use it in the put it in the buffer. Control C, right? Keep doing a Control A, Control C, and then try to see if you can. Yeah, good suggestion uh, by Uma. All right, so um, so friends, so let's give a uh, put a full stop for your recently held uh, um, quiz. It was just one quiz, but you have your life ahead. Let's see how I can train you people for the uh, life ahead, um, which will demand programming skill sets in general, data science uh, skill sets. Okay, so with that, let us switch gears. If you have some more questions which you think are very relevant, which is not covered, and you want me to address, let's pull it at the end. Let's not let's not go away from the theme of today's discussion, which I accidentally entered, given that some many of you raised concerns about the recently held exam. All right, so here we go with the uh, um, formally we are starting with. The second part of our discussion, which by the way was the first part, which is, can we do something in the review week? Something that otherwise um, cannot be done in a typical class. Most of the learning happens outside classes, right? Most of the history that you know was not part of your book. It probably was part of some article that you read, discussion that you had. Most of the gyan that you have, most of the skills that you have developed is outside the classrooms or the places where you were supposed to learn it. So I would like to see if I can, if we can do that in this week. Have a review meeting. Uh, the, have a you make use of the review period to do some boot camp like activity. And I have something in my mind which involves doing a big project, a fun project, something for which coding mostly is not available online, and we may have to do it slowly by hand. And trust me, by the end of this, you will say uh, you really know Python. If you have watched Matrix movie, um, what's what's his name? Matt Anderson. Anderson? Yeah, yeah. Neo. Neo wakes up. Uh, Morpheus puts all electrodes to his brain and says. Knowing Kung Fu is basically training your mind. Why should you undergo all the training? I will change the neurons and make you learn Kung Fu. And after that session, he wakes up and says, now I know Kung Fu. Right? Similarly, uh, probably by the end of this week, you should say, I, now I know Python really in and out. Okay? Uh, how, how to do that? Uh, a very tough exercise, taking you to the peak. It's like you are uncomfortable driving at 40 kilometers per hour, but somehow I sit next to you and push you to go beyond 100 kilometers. And tomorrow, 40 kilometers is not uncomfortable to you. Even 60 is not uncomfortable to you. But 70, 80 becomes uncomfortable. So once I must make you go beyond 100 kilometers. So let's do that 100 kilometer racing this uh, week. I'll be with you people. Generally, it, it should be done very intensely. I should be with you people, do a lot of back and forth, uh, have some informal sessions. Um, it will not be like one session like this and I, I am done and I'll give you homework and you people submit the homework. That is different style. We have done that. Let's do something more free format. Okay, and again, as we say, not every citizen of the country will be ready for this kind of an activity, uh, right? Only a subset will be interested. Don't worry, whoever can make it, please make it. Uh, Karthik will schedule some time and then let you all know. Don't panic if you are not available. Uh, most of it will be available online for you to watch later. But please take part in the forums. One place the where I'll be really active is the forums. I'll also monitor and moderate it so that the either sides of the spectrum where absolute beginners. Asking very fundamental questions will not put you people down. We'll ban that in the sense that they will have a different setup for them to ask questions. I'll help them out. Very advanced people who only talk Greek and Latin, um, uh, while others uh, pretend to understand while they don't understand, or they, 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 they the many majority of the reason why you people are not on the forum is because of this one, the Greek and Latin that happens there, and it, it you start sweating, uh, right? Uh, it, it, it does happen wherever you go. I mean, you just get that's, this is called the Matthew effect. Um, uh, you know, the word Matthew is from Bible. In fact, if you take a look, you will, you will understand. It's a very interesting scientific experiment which says majority of the discouragement is not from the subject. It's because of people around you who are seemingly experts. And sometimes this expertise appears like there are tenfolds uh, the expert than what they actually are. You give, you zoom in and then see that, oh, they're really good. I cannot reach them. And you will never revisit the question. So let, let, I'll ensure that this doesn't happen. Okay. So I will cut the either side of the spectrum and try to concentrate on the middle level of the spectrum, a big, big spectrum, by the way, okay, from a um, little, uh, little beyond the beginner to a lot before an advanced programmer, which I think most of you belong to from what I gather from talking to you people, right? So um, I, I have a feeling you will enjoy it. I have a feeling this is very much required. Certain things are important for this week's test. 
certain things are important for this uh, upcoming exam certain things are important for this semester subject and some more things are uh, important for the upcoming subjects but what we are going to do this week will be important for your life in my humble opinion right so please do make it make yourself time stay away from binge watching netflix and thing if you have that project do it after the weekend because you deserve it you would have finished giving some 40 50 hours of your effort uh, for this week if you are not busy if you if you are um, busy and you cannot afford the time understand whatever we are doing make notes of it and sit with it maybe next week or whenever you have time because i mean you need to respect that there are some working professionals here to family people you may not have the time that or, or you will be doing parallelly some bachelor course master's course you may not have the time try your level best to give the time okay most of it can be done in bits and pieces even if you miss out on one session you're not going to lose much okay yeah so uh this uh boot camp how many of you are interested can you raise your hand roughly 40 hours of effort this week including all the classes raise your hand let me see the total number of hands oh 39 i mean don't be you guys are very confident enough to simply <laughs> i didn't mean to discourage you people i am actually overwhelmed to see that uh, many of you are interested excellent so let us have it um, what we will do is uh, karthik can we have a volunteer if there is one already maybe you can point that person out if not we'll have one who will sit with you and probably um, how, 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 what's, what's the best way to go about this, Karthik, according to you? Uh, yeah, so yeah, volunteer could uh, help. Go on, Karthik, go on. Yeah, so we could probably uh, look at someone in this group. So anyone would like to come forward? Yes, sir, me. Uh, Maybe you can raise your hands, those who want to come forward. Right. Okay. Okay. So maybe we could do that, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, good. So what time is suitable? I think again, we'll not discuss that. We can go on and on. Maybe Karthik will decide and I will try to make myself uh, free during that time. That's better than uh, we giving time, preferably in the evening. I have told Karthik that even if it's late evening, let's do it. It should not intersect with your other sessions. If, in, if you're having, let's say, some, uh, some of you are doing statistics or math or whatever, right? It should not intersect with that. By the way, uh, talking about math and statistics, this bootcamp will not just be Python programming. Uh, it'll, it'll be, how do I put it? I, I, I personally have always felt, I still feel very strongly that the separation of subjects is one of the biggest mistakes um, education has committed again without a second possibility i mean there's no other go Some, sometimes it, it, this, these things are inevitable right but the compartmentalism of subjects has resulted in we seeing this as different from this people keep fighting this is physics this is not mathematics oh this is chemistry this is not uh, biology while if you see most of it was invented without worrying much about what subject it fell under and many, 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 almost all the topics have appeared in different subjects or it's said to appear, right? Take a simple uh, uh, idea of a matrix. I'm sure you will see a lot of matrices in this. If you're going ahead with diploma in data sciences or BSc in data sciences and programming, you'll see a lot of matrices, okay? The idea of matrix, although started in um, mathematics, uh, physics actually, so entered mathematics, went to economics, uh, today all pervading. Uh, right, all subjects, they have seen the importance of seeing uh, um, the idea as a matrix. Some problems appear um, uh, in a concealed way, but if you unravel them, it is actually a matrix. Be it an image or be it uh, uh, some tabular data, right? So where am I getting? I'm getting um, to this point that our discussion will actually invite some decent ideas from statistics, mathematics, um, programming in general, of course. Um, maybe a couple of ML ideas too, and uh, of course, good bunch of statistics. Okay, and there is no better way to learn these subjects than working things out, trying to make mistakes and seeing, oh wow, how is this happening, and then trying to figure out. Then doing all the equations finally. Say, Here are the applications. There are two ways to do this. Okay, write all the equations and find out what is g equals nine point eight meters per second square. Understand what that is, and then throw a ball and then figure out that this is what is happening as opposed to, let's say, throw a ball from first floor, it takes one second, 
throw the same ball from second floor it doesn't take 2 seconds it takes less than that there's a question for you to answer i firstly should be intrigued you should go crazy you should start wondering why is it not 2 seconds why is it less than 2 seconds two floors means 2 seconds one if one floor is 1 second two floor is 2 second why is it not 2 seconds then you realize that the ball is gaining it's it, the speed is that there is a you are expediting the speed the speed is increasing with time okay and how do you put that in a nice way you may have to invent what is today called calculus or maybe you may not invent calculus you can intuitively explain that and finally learn calculus some other day similarly i am going to teach statistics through programming i will not say statistics let's say some cool ideas that come in statistics also in math also in ml also in programming also Uh, okay seen in the form of questions i'll ask one question and try to fix that okay give a couple of nice motivational session for data science also if there's one take home um lesson i would say uh, in your course let it be this because this one if you understand it properly majority of the other ideas they fall into this it's it's one umbrella under which you will see all problems okay we'll start with an excel sheet and move to um, uh, python okay um you will enjoy the experience i am assuring you but give me your time all right okay wonderful so uh, there are some hands raised please uh, type your question if you have anything about the boot camp because let's not get let's not digress to something else um i would like to work with the team too amazing nopur yogendra this is the best thing i have learned from students of iits they don't compartmentalize the subjects willing to learn any subject um okay okay sorry for my uh he is my son not my daughter he came in the frame just now uh, uh okay samir thank you very much uh, i i think this will be a success uh, if you all cooperate otherwise i'm a failure because um attempting something very high fi and if it doesn't pick up it can discourage you people i i fear that more than anything else right okay so let's start with some technical discussion today all right so there is something that is hidden okay speaks to you in some way or the other okay i'm quoting a brilliant short story by arthur conan doyle um doyle uh, sherlock holmes where there is a situation where there is a very very well known situation it's actually an idiom um which goes like this sherlock holmes visits the place and then observes that uh you know there's a there's someone has stolen the stallion the 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 the, the horse or, or whatever I mean, some object and the uh, the house uh, maid or, or some I mean, some the house service person says so we don't know how this happened even the dogs did not bark okay there's nothing nothing that came out as a hint is what he's trying to say and sherlock holmes speaks on that as he keeps saying to watson you know he says watson you see but you don't observe so when you observe uh, in depth you observe that when the dogs did not bark that's a huge hint the hint is that's not unusual i mean rather that's not uh, something that we should ignore that's the big hint that someone from inside the house has committed this crime that the dogs did not bark he hops on that and then solves the case so similarly there are certain aspects of uh, security privacy if something goes wrong okay it will show up for instance a simple uh, crime diary if you watch you will observe that they solve it by taking a least of all hints smallest of all hints right the burari case i'm sure you people have watched the netflix uh, series that's making news you see from the least of all hints they pick up and then they try solving the case so if you are given an encrypted text okay completely encrypted using a password I and mean, come the so garbled that you cannot figure out what is the actual text can you decode it okay we'll try to figure out ways in which we can decode this and also try to see some mysteries behind english language um, purely statistical mysteries behind in english language but how we can use that to solve this problem okay it is going to be very interesting you will be surprised to see that the password that your friend uses to encrypt something you will not only decrypt the text you will also understand what password he or she used okay so be very careful when you're using the uh, uh, if you should not use the same password here in this exercise that you are using on your gmail because uh, we will hack your gmail in case we know the password it's it's a fun activity you all will enjoy more than uh, activity being fun you will you, your coding skills will be sharpened if it's not 
or you'll get confirmation that it's already sharpened when you solve the problem. Okay, let's start with the basic idea of encryption. Idea number one, I wish I had my iPad. I, I don't, but let, let, let me try to compensate that with you know, a slow paced explanation. Idea number one, which I think we discussed already in one of our videos, you take the text, the so-called plain text, which is the secret message, and then shift every letter by one move. A becomes B, B becomes C, C becomes D, etc. up to Y becomes Z and Z becomes A. It's circular, if you understood what I meant, okay? Um, so I shift it like this and um, everything looks garbled, okay? It's very easy to for someone to hack this, okay? What they do is they try shifting it back, that's all. Then you will say, I'll not shift it one, 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 once, I'll shift it three times, five times, six times. I will try shifting it all 26 times. I have a computer for heaven's sake, right? I'll try to look up the dictionary every time I shift to see whether there is any, uh, whether it forms any words that make sense. I will manually observe it. Okay. Broken, right? Second method, seemingly unbreakable. You take every single letter of the English alphabet and assign Hindi Devanagari uh, Lippi to it. Okay. A is uh, some year of Hindi. B is some T of Hindi. C is some R of Hindi. Okay. So on and so forth. Or bring in some Urdu alphabets to Chinese alphabets to uh, what is that Mandarin or um, whatever language you want. Okay. Tamil, Telugu, uh, uh, anything that you uh, like and then assign A, B, C, D to this and then convert your text to some garbled text like this. Okay. Can someone figure this out? Actually, yes, it's very easy because the most frequently repeating letter in English is E. And the most frequently repeating letter in your garbled text is actually a symbol that represents E, one letter decoded. Am I clear? Am I clear? If not, I'll be very clear in my, in my future explanations. I will now create a Python function names where I'll say this entire big task of breaking um, encrypted text, which otherwise was a plain text. Okay. I will write e individual, although it appears so easy, frequently appearing letter, call that E. Next frequently appearing letter is actually S. Okay. Whatever that is, you should have a lot of text. If the text is just kill him, E is not at all there and kill him, right? It should be a long test. Only then you will see that E gets the first rank and whatever the person has used to conceal that you will figure it out. Okay. So this is like everybody in my class. I have one student. Okay. Who is actually a seven footer, a very tall guy. I mean, in one of my classes, a uh, uh, couple of years ago. Okay. Imagine I were to put everybody, everybody comes masked mask today means N uh, what is that? N95. No, that not that mask, the complete mask that you wear. <laughs> okay. So all of them come in a mask for some reason to the class. Do you think it'd be very easy for me to figure out who is the seven footer? He no, needn't uh, you know, wear a mask, nothing, uh, even if he is uh, walking on his knee, um, I mean, um, on his um, uh, knees, uh, uh, still I know that he is, he is still the tallest, <laughs> right? Similarly, this E letter is like that. It shows up no matter how you mask it, right? Every single letter has its own statistical property in English. By understanding that you can unravel the letters very quickly and no coding, no encryption uh, technique works. And we are going to write a code, which does precisely this, ask your friend to encrypt the text and give it to you and boom, you will decrypt it. Okay. This is the easiest of all methods in fact, but I am, I'm going to go one step ahead and teach you what is called the Viginair cipher, which was created some 400 years ago. I may not be right about the timelines a few centuries ago, but took more than 200 years for people to decrypt it. And that I think in my, uh, I would say. Um, in my personal opinion is that was the birth of data sciences that such a strong idea, uh, was, uh, you know, appeared for the first time in the history of, uh, uh, you know, scientific literature where you could use some basic idea of statistics to figure out what is the encrypted text. So what you do is Virginia cipher is a very complicated way of doing that shifting, assigning one letter to the other. So what you do is, uh, you assign a different kind of letter for, uh, for a placeholder. If it's in eighth place. A gets some assignment. If it's in J place, A gets some other assignment. Don't worry about it. I'll explain in, in detail about what is what. Okay, we'll have a separate session on this. This also can be broken by a very neat uh, statistical idea. And that statistical idea is just a one-liner. But to code that, you will take four hours. And it's fun to code. It's very doable. What I'll do is 
i will make you code by giving you people some small functions making you understand what these functions are first i will help you understand the question neatly perfectly some of you are not able to understand it i'll have separate sessions with a bunch of people who are in tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 in understanding i'm not segregating you people by intelligence i'm segregating you people by understanding okay quickly trying to promote you to tier 1 all of you will be at tier 1 and then i'll give you all the functions and tell you look the problem that we discussed can be broken into vegetable pulao means these 10 10 uh, ideas okay uh, i will make you see that and each idea i'll make you uh, do it Uh, without of course you should not be looking up the one tip is never look at other's code at least during this course it it will be detrimental for your progress you should do it individually if not i will do it with you bunch of again tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 tier 5 uh, and then i'll put all of you into the same tier uh, this should probably uplift your confidence and at the end you will be able to see that a beautiful code like visionaire ciphers uh, deciphering um, rather hacking is so easily doable with python the easy there is some four hours of intense coding okay so get ready get your uh, python uh, skills sharpened do people know how to handle a file maybe not it's upcoming i guess right but it's just two commands i will teach you people quickly okay so next session that we are meeting probably tomorrow itself will involve me telling you the exact problem and giving you the chunks of functions that you will be coding all right and then making you people go ahead with the coding by teaching you some basics of file handling and maybe revision of functions i'm sure you all require revision of functions right how many of you can confidently use functions in your code how many of you can close your eyes and type matrix multiplication by, 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 by metaphorically close your eyes nobody can code with by with their eyes closed um a good amount of you can do it if not please practice it at least once or twice so that you are ready for the uh, uh, hackathon session coming at the, the boot camp coming ahead all right again i repeat before i end the discussion coding is all about effort several hours of effort either you put it or let me push you to put forth that effort in the form of this boot camp don't miss the boot camp all right also um good suggestion is in case you miss or in case you only do it partially ask your friends make a small group of people and learn from each other there's nothing nothing uh, better than sitting with a equal, equally good person and trying to improve is both of them will improve right uh, if i sit with kashparov kashparov is here i am here in playing chess simon or vishwanath anand uh, anand is here i am here if i sit with him i'll get very discouraged and anand will get frustrated right he'll be he'll be uh, you know uh, winning in just 10 moves what is there's nothing to learn there unless we, we undergo a huge bet right otherwise there's no incentive it's also discouraging for me because there's nothing for me to learn but when i sit with someone who's as good as me where winning becomes coin tossing we both learn how to improve so sit with people more or less like you it's in fact a good idea to sit with someone like this and also someone like this so three people you should sit with someone who is slightly better than you someone who is slightly not as good as you that way when you teach there you will gain clarity and when you have trouble you can ask that person who is slightly better than you okay if it's a lot better you'll get discouraged he'll get frustrated all right find such a group and then form a team and then work too many um, cooks spoil the broth okay don't sit with 10 15 people an ideal team size is around 4 to 5 okay good there are some uh, hands uh, being raised questions relevant to this boot camp only inspire me with your question go ahead all hands going down there any other concerns about boot camp please go ahead if you have any questions about what we are planning to do next good evening sir good evening i am chetan chetan yes. pleasure speaking with you Can yeah I, actually from my first class onwards i am seeing you uh, last term also i have taken python sir and now i i have taken uh, indian dental be, be, why because i have to improve in this python good i have taken um, uh, i have been all and i have so chitan uh, there is some mis- there is some problem some with your audio i believe yes. not only for me for all of you right so chitan kindly type your question and i will uh, answer okay so mehul is is there a question from your side is that a recent one about this last point uh, sir it's actually just about the general coding not about the boot camp so that's why i'm holding on okay okay maybe i will take it at the end good good, yes, good. i really okay. like when people are very you know sensitive enough to um, ask a question at the same time at the right time right okay good good i appreciate that mahul anybody else who would like to ask a question relevant to boot camp 
maybe one question that I would ask you people is, uh, what should I know so that I can get the best out of this bootcamp? Maybe watch all the videos once again and code along quickly. You can always uh, run my, my videos at least in two or 2.5 X speed. I'm very slow. Uh, right. So just look at the code and code along. That should be enough. Okay. Where will this bootcamp happen in portal or forums or uh, in my place or in a classroom or how I wish I could meet you all and do it uh, personally. It, it's a lot of fun that way if we can sit together and then do it, but yeah, it will happen in the combination of forums and uh, um, live like this over zoom call. Okay. It will be like CS 50. Definitely. Uh, maybe even more interesting than that. Krishna Chaitanya, I can assure you that it's more interesting because uh, uh, you know, I, I, I have enjoyed uh, doing this with um, your kind of uh, students from online classes. So they, they, they come with a variety and, and, and there's a lot of learning that happens. Okay. Is knowledge of week six necessary? Can someone please tell me uh, Aditya's question is week six contains what functions? So all the collections, lists, sets, dictionaries, and tuples. Yeah. 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 All of them are required, but trust me, the best way to learn them is to feel the need for them. Not learn all of them and try to see where to apply. Okay, so you earn money uh, as per your requirement. Don't make your requirement from the money that you have in your hand. It's like that. So try to see if you can um, uh, see a point and say, oh, here is a place where I should use a dictionary or a list. Here is a place where I should be using tuples. If you don't get it, don't worry. If you can manage everything with just less, go ahead, do it. But then with time, you will realize that, ah, this kind of an instance, it's better off using a dictionary. Okay, uh, good. More questions? I think the chat is running. Anyone else with any question? How will I be notified for this bootcamp once it starts? Yeah, Karthik will post or uh, I will post in the forum and or I will post in the forum so we can do that. So do some coding along so that you're prepared both me mentally and uh, program wise. You, you know what in, in and out of Python, at least whatever is covered so far. Most of Python involves what is covered so far. Anything extra is just a, um, icing on the cake. Uh, you can you can do wonderfully well. You can pick up anything. We can write any code with whatever has been covered so far. Okay, good. Um, Krishna Chaitanya, any other point? Uh, Yogendra, the hands are raised. Um, so uh, regarding the board time, uh, actually uh, I am new to the programming, uh, but at the same time I want to post my boundaries and I want to volunteer in this uh, activity. So how can I help or how can I be fit into that program of volunteering? Because whenever uh, there is talk about uh, preparing the website for our uh, uh, group. So uh, even though I am willing, but uh, due to... Uh, yeah, got your question, Yogi. That's, that's, that's a nice point. Uh, firstly, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you people on how I can incentivize your activities, if any. Uh, it's taking me some time. Uh, there was something that Professor Andrew was trying on similar lines. Could we try is what you... People asked me the last time, but I couldn't get back. Probably it is difficult in this course, at least in this run. Try to see if we can do it in the next time. But, but getting back on the exact question that you asked, um, I didn't mean to preach um, people. Sorry for the philosophical rant. I would say it's uh, important for us to be individualistic, but not always. We should look at the collective possibility too. We should get together and see how we all can improve together. Right? That way, I appreciate what Yogindra is asking. I think I want many of you to come forward and tell me that, sir, I'm available. Uh, let me know in what way I can help you. Bootcamp wise only. Okay. Uh, and I'll give you some tasks to do. Maybe one can maintain, you can, you can maintain a small website of uh, details that I'm saying collectively edited by all of you. Maybe share a Google doc, keep it open on a uh, web link. Okay. And make people to create, create an FAQ there. Point us to, let's say I'll be having a GitHub repository. Point us to that and nice uh, wiki on github uh, if, if i'm if i'm not making sense don't worry i'll make sense very soon i'm just saying facilities all, all that will open up right now as part of this boot camp can be kept under one umbrella uh, let's say yogendra can take care of it if some of you can come forward uh, i can even uh, give you the right tasks or if someone doesn't understand something if you can volunteer saying that sir i know this very well you know i'll be able to help you I will forward that person, uh, I mean, the, the needy to the, um, the expert. Okay. So please come forward. I think you all should, that's the best way to learn. There is, um, um, you know, alone we, we cannot do, we can only do so much. Right. Good. So Srijita also says she's available. Excellent to hear this. Um, uh, okay. And Ashish also says you're, you're available by available. I mean, you will be participating. How much of statistics technology is necessary for bootcamp is knowing till, okay. Shreyams asks a very good question. 
I want to spend a minute addressing this. I am I am interested in the consequence of this question. Okay, so Shreyans, can you please un uh, unmute yourself and then talk to me? Or can someone else represent Shreyans' question if you have this question too? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, sir, I was asking that uh, if we know till continuous random variables, then this knowledge uh, will be enough for the boot camp or not? Okay. So, um, firstly, I think putting a subject in the form of ascending order of concepts with a table of contents is something that I have faced as a student um, difficulty, right? The, the difficult part is when you put them in a sequence and say 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 up to fourth chapter, if you can do this, that's the organ, that, that's the, again, of all the ways, this is the least um, uh, trouble free way, but that doesn't mean it's fallacy um, free, right? So when you say, I will learn this, 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 I'll learn the whole of calculus and come and solve your ball problem the ball that you're throwing from first floor and second floor. Okay. I would need to say, look at the kind of math and statistics you may require to solve this ball problem. Go pick it up somehow and keep picking it up continuously. Try to get better and better with it. What's the idea of limits? Try the gambler's ruin problem. Try the componenters problem. Did I cover these things in the, I think I covered the componenters problem in one of the programs. Didn't I? If I didn't, I'll do it in one of the live sessions. Um, the idea of limits, the idea of, one plus one by n whole to the n going to e, a very important part of uh, uh, statistics where e keeps appearing very often in probability. The br brilliant motivation is basically this gambler's ruin problem. I'm, I'm, I, I may be talking uh, Greek and Latin, please don't mind. What I'm trying to say is when you see a problem, it's good for you to go and pick up the ideas. So in this connection, I will try to ensure that even if you don't know any statistics, okay, you will be able to understand what I'm saying. I'll ask you one question. If you have this intuition, you know the kind of statistics that's coming ahead. How many of you have two remote controls for your television near your television box? Tell me why you have two remote controls. Right? Do you have such ones? Please tell me why do you have two? One is enough, right? Why do you have two? Uh, one for set of books and uh, one for TV. So Nikon has already answered. Excellent. Wonderful. One for the set top box, one for the television. Good. Um, my television and my set top box is such that whatever is the volume on your television right now will be the max you can achieve on the set top box. I repeat, if the volume on your television is 50% and it is zero on the set top box, there's no volume. Correct. If the volume of the set top box goes to hundred percent, then what's the final volume? 50%. 50% 50 because your television goes on, is now at 50% only. Unless you increase that, set top box going from 0 to 100 doesn't, set top goes from 0 to 100 linearly. Can I use that word linearly? Um, respecting the 50% of the television, the set top box takes from 0 to 100% of that 50%. Okay. Now I'll give you this question. It's your like television is at television is at fifty percent. Television is at fifty percent. Your set top box is at twenty five percent. Don't give me the answer. Strictly no answering. Okay. Television is at fifty. This is a this is a pedagogical example to tell you that certain things that are so trivial is made very complicated when we put random variables x y z and then discuss, which is important. We should get there, but the motivation should be something like this. Okay. Television is fifty percent. The setup box is 25%. How much volume is your television giving? It is giving one fourth, 25% is one fourth. One fourth of 50%, correct? One fourth of 50%, whatever that is, 25 into 50 is 12.5. 12.5% of volume you're getting. If you observe it carefully, if um, event happens with probability P, another event happens with probability Q, when these two things are independent, the probability of both of them occurring is P into Q is precisely the remote control idea. Okay. Understanding all these things there and coming and trying to see this is one thing, but then here it's so straightforward. Anybody in your house who's watching the TV will know that your volume is um, the max of your volume is decided by one of the remotes. The other remote 
works up to the max volume defined by the other ring mode. As simple as that. This is called conditional probability. Okay. Now I illustrated an example of how conditional probability can be explained in the form of remote controls. Okay. Taking it up to the calculus and talking in multiple dimensions is, is again different. How, what if you have 10 remotes or what if you have infinitely many remotes and, but the main motive is putting the ball from the first floor, putting the same ball from the second floor, asking the question, how come it didn't take two seconds time and, and starting to look at the calculus that at the intuitive level, right? So to answer in a sentence, most of what we will discuss will be at a very intuitive level. Welcome your other friends who are not part of this course to also sit with you. He may not be able to come to the Zoom session. Sit with you and then learn the concepts without knowing any statistics background. So I am not assuming anything, but some good deal of statistics will be automatically used there. Okay. Um, a lot of three-dimensional geometry happens when I see a ball that's coming my way and then catch it. Of course, my mind is computing those three-dimensional three geometry. I don't know any three-dimensional geometry. Correct. By that, I mean, most of what we'll be using hi-fi stuff will be inbuilt into it, but you needn't break your head about which part of the textbook of Feller's probability should I uh, master, uh, right? You don't have to know uh, anything according to me. If we need to know something, I'll give you the intuitive version of it and there should be more than enough. Okay, good. So I, I, did I tell you the, what is this? You people are doing math right now. Right. So, uh, do you know this infinite series? Did I discuss this half plus half square plus half cube? Can you all write this down? Half plus half square plus half. Can all of you write it, write this down? Half, right? One by two plus one by two square plus one by two cube plus one by two to the power of four plus one by two to the power of five plus dot, dot, dot up to infinity. Pratham, I never asked for the answer. Ruchi can never ask for the answer. Ranjit, tends to one, I don't know what the word tends mean. No, no, I didn't mean to discourage you. The answer is right, but I was heading, asking a question doesn't always mean that we are looking at an answer. How much time will it take for the ball to fall from second floor? Boom, 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 we get right and then five, six, 1.7 uh, seconds. Uh, we, uh, all the gyan is lost in between. Hurdles that you will undergo that will help you understand is lost. Right? So Abhishek writes the equation there if you can see half, half square, half cube up to infinity. So look at this example. I come with a cake on my birthday. First day, I, I think I gave you this example if I remember it right. No, I didn't. Anyways, it, it's okay if to be repeated. I come and see Harshit Kamboj and say hi to him. And I tell him, Harshit, so today is my birthday. I want to give you a cake. And I have a formula to give cake. I'll give half of whatever I have. New way of distributing the cake. Okay. And Harshit gets half the cake. And then I go to Shivansh. Okay. And uh, Shivansh gets half the cake left over, which is half. Half of half is remote control, right? Half of half is one fourth. So she wants to get one fourth of the cake. And what remains with me is one fourth. I repeat, I start with one cake. I see Harshit and give him half of it. So half remains. Then I see she wants and I give him quarter of it. Quarter remains. And I go and see Sai Pranav and give him half of the quarter. One eighth remains. A little bit of math. One by four into one by two is one by eight. He gets one by eight. I get one by eight. And in that one by eight, I give it to Harshal one by 16. And then um, Jashan uh, one by 32, Yogendra one by 64, Ajitesh one by 128. Theoretically speaking, I can distribute this one cake to the entire universe. Assuming the cake becomes divisible. Okay. Well, I'll take one smear, I'll smear one small cream and then put a uh, <laughs> kumkum and then let's say this is your share. <laughs> okay. I, I can keep doing that. Right. What did I do? I distributed one cake. How did Harshit, Harshit's share was half is equal to half. Plus Shivan's share was half square. Sai Pranav's share was half cube. Harshit's share was half to the power of four. Plus Jashan's share was half to the power of uh, five. Dot, dot, dot to the entire universe up to infinity is actually equal to one. You try doing it the hardcore uh, recurrence relations way. It is equal to S, S, take the common and then pulls S and as N tends to infinity. So you can complicate it. You can take a, as I keep saying, AK-47 to kill a mosquito. It's required as the animal becomes bigger. But at the current size, whatever idea you need to get it going, you don't need hi-fi mathematics. 
keep this to yourself mathematics is is common sense made complicated okay while well, it's actually a very elegant piece of uh, nature's poetry we start with a very complicated shakespeare's hamlet and then come to a uh, simple twinkle twinkle little star while we should go the other way around anyways uh, enough of my uh, i am trying to motivate you people uh, i clearly see that most of these things are very beautiful um, should not be with equations equations should come later if you want abstract level understanding you don't want to start off with sanskrit grammar you should know uh, how to say good morning in sanskrit to begin with okay so we'll have only good morning uh, like ideas uh, in our uh, um, uh, discussion but that is something that broke a 200 year old problem a very deep statistical idea okay uh, if this boot camp becomes successful i'll create more such boot camps where the hidden intention is to teach you some hardcore arsenal uh, hardcore techniques but Uh, primarily uh, observably it will appear like you are uh, enhancing your coding skills which is also important right so i'll help you enhance your coding skills we'll do something very deep pdb okay it will be uh, undoubtedly the toolkit that you will be using because you'll be stuck miserably in several places you can only come out when you use pdb okay so we'll use pdb by the side and write some non trivial 1000 lines of code this uh, week okay so come on in welcome all of you please join in with motivation help each other i'll also be there i'm dedicating this entire week for this stuff only which means i'm available any time be active on the forums okay how many of you are there on the forums raise your hand there on the forums means you have visited the forum in the last uh, one week's time at least okay how many hands went up good okay how many of you have gone through the forum from the past okay let me first put your hands down lower all hands how many of you visited the forum in the past 24 hours very few i know this very happy to see that many of you are truthful oh oh, oh many hands are going up now i suspect is it really <laughs> are people being truthful anyways sir last 24 hours we were not allowed because of the exam <laughs> oh i see i see no 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 yesterday uh, no, i was okay, able okay, to okay. post uh, okay 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 uh, last 24 allowed hours like working hours okay so many of you good so try going there i will start challenging you people with some questions this week again i will be active in the forum only this week i have not been active so far i'll be active this week next week onwards i'll again go to the uh, hibernation mode i'll not be active I, I i cannot be i'll be busy with other things so this week is dedicated for all of you please make the bootcamp a success those who want to start looking at bootcamp right away please write to me i'll start putting you to some nice reading uh, material if you like reading books of general interest if english in general interests you please write to me i'll give you a nice book to read relevant to the bootcamp that's coming up okay which by the way i'll be announcing all of you to uh, take a look at it but some people who have time who want to start reading about stuff the plain english way the non computational way getting ready for boot camp write to me i'll get back to you okay so we are formally concluding the discussion at 6:45 unless you people have something important we can call it a day thank you very much we'll meet possibly tomorrow okay whenever karthik tells us Uh, flag says green um, flag and says we can go ahead i uh, on to mehul for the question that he was trying to ask yes thank you sir so uh, sir it's just a general coding doubt the problem i am facing while coding is uh, i just can't seem to get the general logic right very quickly so it usually takes hours of coding and that's not an issue but i just need to know how can i improve on this access, uh, aspect or i'm sorry if it's repetitive like Okay, it's it's not it's not, but I would like to back it up with a nice story. Um, I was once in Paris, trying to completely lost, trying to find out uh, some address. Okay, and I was moving around, and uh, with a lot of energy, I was moving around. I saw some person with a lot of energy standing there. I was like, he was he looked like a good Samaritan. I I go to him and I ask him for the address, and I say, I'm not from this place. And he also says uh, he's not from the place too, and he's also looking at the. some address and he also wanted to come and talk to me whether i knew where this address was okay this goes very similar to <laughs> what's happening right now this question is my question too okay not just mine uh, almost all of them nobody has mastered uh, the ability to code anything that is given okay uh, it's either i know how to code or i am able to figure out how to code okay sometimes it to figure out can even take some 10 years i told you the 3n plus 1 problem right take a look the collatz conjecture people have not understood how to write how to understand the six line code uh, right so um, it's not easy for you to matrix multiplication i did 
matrix inverse probably it will take some time for me to figure out how to do it and frankly right now if you ask me at gun point do it i may take an hour or two or maybe even more to do it properly i should recollect my what is that adjoint of a by determinant of a what is adjoint that even that i have forgotten uh, right i have to recollect it properly see how to code it and then go one by one stay organized and that that's why i say it's important skill set for us to teach our kids how to code something non trivial and debug it out right while debugging coding thinking linearly being organized writing pseudo code is a, a skill set that you will develop slowly but a skill set that will be a you know ramabond for uh, uh, anything is is very difficult there, there there exists no such thing in my observation right but then if you can comfortably code any sorting technique let's say i'm just giving you as an example there are some 30 35 sorting methods okay if you can code any of them given the pseudo code then you're really good i'll give you the idea i tell you this is how the algorithm works can you code these are two things one is i will tell you here is the algorithm tell me how this works i mean uh, tell me if you can code it here is the algorithm i'll tell you the logic you tell me how to code it a good example of that is matrix multiplication all of us know how matrix is multiplied but none of us can write a code for it for the first time it takes time it's not easy not trivial good example of how your programming skill set is becomes a question mark while you know the logic in and out 3 cross 3 matrix multiplication we have done we know this exactly extends to 10 cross 10 to a million cross million to but we struggle right on one side the second side how do you actually multiply matrices we know an algorithm right can you do it quickly right how do you invert a matrix a lot of determinants uh, we find are joined by de determinant is non trivial right it's very difficult is there a straight forward way of simply punching in ij element of a matrix inverse how to find that interesting question i don't want you to invert the entire matrix i want you to just tell me ij element of the matrix inverse making sense yes sir take a three cross three matrix i don't want you to invert it i only want you to tell me the center element the second row second column element i only want that why do you want to see why do you want to clean the entire city when i'm asking you to clean you know sweep only my doorstep okay um right so so such questions are the question mark at the level of the logic itself is there a cute logic that we can use to figure out the answer i gave you people the bsw problem remember um by sell wait the real estate question a very interesting question uh, if you don't know i think you should sit with others and then figure this out if possible as part of boot camp we'll also solve this problem it's about when to buy a product a, a real estate piece of land when to sell when to simply buy and wait there are three things in life right you want to buy gold you buy today wait for it to go up and you should not keep waiting it will go up and come down also right you should sell when it's peaking how do you know it's peaking today it's it peaked what if tomorrow it will peak further up you are a greedy farmer who says that a greedy farmer who tried to butcher a hen because the hen was laying golden eggs and he thought there is a lot more inside the uh, tummy let's uh, uh, open it out and he he finds nothing right similarly should you wait or should you get greedy i mean should should you uh, uh, fear the uh, loss of tomorrow and sell it today itself the same happens in stock broking i mean and, and, and buying stock selling stocks right so you see sensex is really up right now should you go buy it it's very expensive but if you buy it it's going to grow phenomenally for the next one year if you don't buy it you will not be rich if you buy it and wait you will be rich but what if you what if it drops from tomorrow after you bought right this is the bsw problem that i was telling you the other day try to see if you can write a code for it if not can someone please upload the exact question on the forum so that someone can others can see it and then try your hands on it this is a straight forward idea i, I think mehul uh, there cannot be a better illustration uh, illustrious problem than this where most of it is not programming most of it is thinking okay thinking and programming happens in less than half the page once you figure out the logic right so yeah. um, you need to do something there there is some math there Uh, something called local minima local maxima a technical term used for uh, simple slide a kid goes up and then local maxima is in a slides down and then if you have many such things you have local minima anything that is backed by in the neighborhood thing should uh, um, increase that's local minima local maxima is thing should uh, sort of decrease in the neighborhood you do some derivative and then find put it to be zero and some such stuff right but the idea is um, peaking 
huh? on picking and off picking. If you understand this, you can solve this problem. It also gives you a great hint of how to become rich in life by investing. Okay, and also so, tells you gives you the gyan that when everybody does this, it's dangerous. Great yeah. gyan should be limited for only a few people. If everybody starts doing it, then everybody will become rich. That is paradoxical. Everybody cannot become rich. Only a few people should know it. Then you you in, enhance this algorithm to the next level. Only a few people will know it, and then everybody will know it. Then you move on to the next level, and so on and so forth. Anyway, someone asked a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone said, sir. No, nobody. Anyway, yeah. Mehul, you can continue. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Shall I just for this one? Uh, Uma, please go ahead. For, yeah, it's for Mehul. Uh, I was uh, the same position, and my uh, nephew suggested for logical thinking. I was also really worried, but now I am getting a grip. Of, I just followed. He advised me to get trace back what your brain thinks. Example for a simple addition like uh, sum of natural numbers. Our brain also code and trace it. So the same way, write down how we start. trace back the our brain how what works it really works to get the logical thinking of any problem write it how we solve it and then write it as a steps and then convert it as a code it very works. nice very nice uma i wish all the questions are also answered by peers i think that's a very welcome move um that's what forums is for i mean most of your questions should be answered within yourself Uh, and then it can it can come to the instructors and then to us it's a very good tip uh, uh, one one coding that i would like to put there is most of the problems that you solve as part of coding is straight forward uh, sort of life lessons okay so you know very well you want to find the maximum of an element you know how to do it but to code that is difficult okay maybe you should think like a 8 year old who would see how do i do that in in real life you, you know uh, train your brain to go through it slowly step by step then see what are the glitches here what are the um, ideas um, uh, that are not so uh, uh, it's intrinsic but it's not visible for me right go through it slowly and then write this down this bsc problem is bs uh, w problem is also one such problem where it's very straight forward sell when it peaks and then uh, buy when it goes down in the local minima but to code that is very difficult okay so with time only you realize it i would say it, it involves a lot of practice ct like courses okay um are important but i would say it should be backed with a hands on python like course too for every idea that you learn in city immediately you should do a python like program that's probably not possible but now you have that facility go back to your um, city questions and try to write your code for that but i would say many of these things you know it's like how to come out with a beautiful song many songs have gone viral right now especially this month i don't know uh, why some three four songs have gone viral in my observation people have figured try to figure out how to make a song become really good how to compose a beautiful song not known we practice maybe luck right that's at the level of talent but learning how to code is certainly at the level of practice no matter how good you are you cannot master a martial art move unless you practice it some thousand times right okay some hands up go ahead kushi kushi samya uh, krishna and priyanshu in the talk no question it was by mistake sir i'm sorry ha by mistake hello uh, sir yeah. i want to ask you one question sir in the practice in the grp protocol exam sir we are facing a issue the test run is not working some time no, uh, prem sir prem sir yes, so, yes, sorry sir. to disturb you um, this question can go to the instructors in the forum okay sir right okay, so thanks. anything so i i want to be focused this week is only boot camp i have told okay, my sir. wife and kids to if you want to talk something relevant to boot camp only then i am available otherwise okay. don't talk to me <laughs> okay, 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 i'm just joking sorry, sure. so okay. most of these things can be so no 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 don't be sorry so these things can be solved at the uh, level of the instructor so please talk to them okay anything else uh, relevant to boot camp or uh, or in general no, whatever uh, mehul last was also relevant to boot camp sir, indirectly sir, though the, yeah uh, will the uh, will the boot camp videos will be available uh, for later references yeah so i this is a little difficult although some of it we will definitely make it available some of the informal sessions if we keep putting it becomes a lot of noise people may not know what to watch what they don't want to watch so let's be selective in what we upload i would suggest either you people come for the session or uh, contact someone who has come for the session and pick it up quickly from them we will try our level best maybe we'll make it primary and secondary videos primary will be the absolute must you must watch if you have missed secondary is it's okay if you haven't watched it's a repeat session or 
uh, because i may conduct more sessions even outside the formal setup um, of the of the program right Other, otherwise you know it becomes difficult if i want to handle more and it should be an official setup not many will be available i will not be available the timing will not be conducive so let's get together maybe over the forum we'll discuss whenever there is some problem there i'll shout out for um, we'll have a session you guys come on in and we'll have a session and maybe post the link there itself in the forum for that particular thread okay yeah oh, smita sure. thank you thank you thank you smita uh sir i have the same question related to the programming whatever when i am trying to program first i have to write down i am not able to write the program even i uh, know the logic uh, mathematically i know the logic but first i have to write it and everything then i am programming so what how do i solve it okay um so i i know of um, a nice doctor family doctor who will say whenever you go to him and talk about any long lasting problem not 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 something like viral fever headache and all. for that he never responds like this but if you talk about let's say uh, obesity to him or um, about uh, in general um, uh, someone has blood pressure diabetes or thyroid problem whatever whatever first solution he gives is try walking for one month every day 45 minutes if this doesn't fix your problem only then come and talk to me about your problem he has put a big list he basically has a big list of uh, chronic ailments if someone comes with that ailment the first thing he says is no i am no mai dawai nahi dunga aapko i am not going to give you any tablets you walk for one month har ek cheez ka ek hi solution hai he says walk after 30 days let's talk if you still have a problem okay this this um uh, you know uh, the, the fascinatingly holds good in programming to any kind of problem you are facing with programming should be fixed with walking equivalent is programming for a few hours a couple of dozens of hours at least code along with me twice thrice of whatever that is being uh, taught whatever we have taught is carefully crafted i have personally directed it like a small short movie where difficulty level is from um, you know 1 on 10 2 on 10 3 on 10 and will slowly the curve goes up and you have to sit and uh, uh, code along with the video by pausing it here and there and delete it and again do it take up some more program from uh, you know online portals and then do, do at least some 50 hours of coding i would say 200 hours it's unrealistic given the uh, course and your uh, the busy life right now but then 50 to 60 to 70 is very ideal at least 50 hours if you could even after that you are unable to do it let's talk most of the questions i get is when people say i have read the book no this this may not be uh, smita uh, you may not fall into this category i mean general addressing this uh, i have read the syntax i have understood the problem why am i not able to code sounds like a very innocent question but the fundamental problem there is i know how to walk i understand i should walk for uh, 20 kilometers but i am unable to walk you should go every every 20 km marathon uh, happens uh, once try at a time you must practice go 1 km only today 2 km the next day so on and so forth okay i have been repetitive about this little tip but yeah most of the problems can be solved like the doctor's tip walk walk um, walk the talk with programming uh, right otherwise you, you will never develop that skill you have to code quite quite a lot you have to stumble go on speed breakers go down the mountain hill programmatically okay try to see what happens where you should get stuck with the error a very deep error that you're unable to uh, figure out not get frustrated practice getting stressed for 20 full minutes use a debugger and come out of it and things like that okay yeah next uh, krishna ashutosh nupur harshad so yeah. my question is yeah krishna started krishna your voice is uh, sort yeah. of trembling so you you go ahead and type your um, question on the chat and maybe shivansh you can paraphrase it because i tend to forget when i ask them to uh, type there shivansh can you paraphrase that question that uh, krishna might ask meanwhile i'll take nupur's question nupur please go ahead uh, thank you sir good evening good evening um i have more of a technical request for this boot camp actually so if it's possible for the team could we get like an advance intimation of the schedule for the boot camp so we'll be prepared that way and we know what to expect every single day as well good so uh, what i um, uh, have in mind is kartik will be able to announce the 3 to 4 sessions available the formal ones that i'll be there recorded and uploaded the informal ones we'll always plan it out on the forum informal ones even if you miss you will not be missing much the formal ones in case uh, we'll be announcing it a priori which means that you people can make it 
if for some reason you cannot you can always watch the video and get ready uh, so the idea is to reach that finale moment of uh, saturday sunday where the entire code is seen as one piece and you you get the output i'm going to train you very slowly okay as and always the forum is available shout out for help will come and uh, see i i'm also going to i have made a note of all your names right now even uh, nupur i just observed that you were active throughout the session so maybe some uh, 20 30 people who are going to be very active i'm even going to um, code their names keep their names with me ensure that you people learn it and if someone else asks for help i'll ask i'll put you to help them out very less uh, amount of time you can spend with them and then uh, help them out while i'll be helping you people okay i will create this hierarchy of uh, helplines right okay so what was the question she wants sir i am quite unable to understand the question so okay so I'll let's just... read it my code is becoming static sir how to make it dynamic i started exploring chessboard questions okay so uh, krishna this is a slightly advanced question let's not get into um um uh, the uh, yeah, by, i i suppose you mean uh, slightly advanced algorithmic ideas like dynamic programming or the idea of let's say recursion or um, not non linear uh, cutting it into modules and things like that uh, i will talk to you personally about it. it it again comes by practice by observing in fact that that's a subject called algorithms where um, um, particular technique is emphasized by using several uh, exemplary ideas so that comes in the next semester but even this semester you can do it again i, I told you people that we should not compartmentalize subjects there are some beautiful ideas which in itself will teach you this uh, how to do um, xyz okay we'll get there maybe we can you can talk to me personally uh, sometime if you want more details um yeah sure anything else uh, ashutosh samruddhi yes, sunil yeah go ahead go ahead sir uh, i want to know uh, the time period of the boot camp i i mean no no, no all uh, these things will be don't worry all these things will be discussed and put on the forum get active on the forum we purposefully don't want to make any mail or whatsapp related announcement so that you can incentivize you people to be in the forum first requirement is a, a, a rather a, a warning um, is you will not learn anything if you're not in the forum a disclaimer um, if you are uh, um, on the forum doesn't mean that you will learn everything be on the forum take part in the activities but it's a, just a necessary condition not on the forum certainly yes you will not be able to understand so be on the forum we'll announce everything there including technical difficulties glitches everything will be it it has a it has some learning curve i first time used discourse i myself was a little uncomfortable uneasy and uh, demotivated to because the interface was also it was all very hey wire something brand new but then with time i realized that this is a wonderful interface and the vanilla google uh, groups should it's high time um, that we use something like at least for the for course like this we need a lot more facility which discourse provides it's wonderful you'll get addicted to it with time so please be there yeah samruddhi sunil go ahead shutosh kumar nupur harshal yes, ha huh. good evening sir good evening uh, sir i had to ask uh, uh, apart from the lectures that you mentioned the course lectures which which are there on our course portal apart from that the live sessions which you take one of which was debugging and you mentioned that debugging is important for the boot camp uh, out of all your live sessions uh, which of the live sessions uh, should we watch before uh, appearing for okay, the okay i would say camp. i would say boot camp doesn't require any of my live sessions they are all toppings good toppings so if you if you know beat pdb you will find it very easy if you have been part of my live sessions i have discussed a couple of questions already which has warmed you people up the the running uh, activity will start but the warm up is over but you will not be missing much if you haven't warmed up i'll be first few sessions will be dedicated for warming up once again so i'll be repeating stuff not to worry You, you'll not be missing anything, uh, Harshal. Yes, yeah, I I want to tell that can have a uh, Harshal once a again. Um, there's a lot of disturbance in your um, uh, in your voice. Don't worry, just type it. I'll read it out and I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. She wants just remind me in case I uh, you can read and paraphrase it or remind me to go through it, please. I wanted one volunteer. I'm assuming you will be. happy to help okay <laughs> so uh, who's next sunil samriddhi is done harshal will uh, send a chat message uh, webov yes hi good evening sir go on go on hello uh, yeah it's a very nice uh, live session sir and uh, sorry due to my busy schedule i joined this uh, very first uh, session with you 
and uh, you know i don't have a specific question but i could gather so many uh, tips uh, to become a good programmer and improve the programming skills so thank you so much for that and uh, one great thing i liked is uh, your uh, teaching style is very very good and uh, you know which which, uh, which keep me uh, very busy in the programming and learning the python because prior to joining this course i have uh, gone through a number of tutorials uh, but i couldn't connect right but i think your learning style is very very good i would say and uh, due to which i am able to learn quite a lot of things uh, as so far as the, the proof of the concerned. pudding the proof of the pudding is in its eating so once this is over the course is over if you can be a a ranked programmer very confident about give me give me bring it on give me any question i have a confidence i have sort of i'm confident that i can code then i then i will assume that this testimonial is valid otherwise uh, no at least 80% of you people should be a ranked programmers which is not very difficult right so uh, Weber, yeah. if that's just a comment compliment thank you very much in case you have a question yeah. you can post one yeah no questions at no the moment questions. Uh, Understood. we'll move to mehul then before that harshal's question let me address can we have a platform platform where we can type in collaborative way like a, yeah yeah you have so many such platforms replit is the easiest google collab is slightly advanced so is Jupyter Notebook, even that can be used for collaboration, Harshal. Take a look at these things, okay? Replit, in Replit, all of you can get together and uh, code at the same time, okay? There's also something called pair programming also, take a look, okay? We, even without uh, any of these interfaces, you can do it, okay? Uh, could um, we download the Python idle from python.org? Uh, I don't know how that's relevant to what we're discussing. Let me just finish Harshal's, uh, answering Harshal's question. Harshal, you can do all these things, take a look at it. Okay. All right. So um, next is Mehul. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, sorry to go overboard with the time. Just wanted to ask you, how no can problem. we contact you? You said like we can write to you if you wanted. Uh, then send yeah, yeah. please. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. My email ID is srsiyengar. I generally reply back in case I don't just put a reminder to reply back and reply back. Uh, one reminder should be enough. Um, that's the best way to contact me. Uh, I am also trying to see if we can have a small... Telegram group or a signal group, uh, too many WhatsApp groups. I'm not on WhatsApp. I was part of some hundred groups. I got really bugged with so many messages and I, I came out of it recently. I'm on a WhatsApp detox uh, this month. So let's have a Telegram uh, group or something, or even a, a best way is your Gmail, G chat on online degree. That's very good. Okay. We'll have a small group there to discuss. All right. I'll have a couple of moderators just to ensure that we, we post relevant stuff only there. So that uh, our times don't go um, uh, wasted in reading forwards and stuff like that. So we could have something like that, number one. Um, number two is forum is the best way, at least for this week. I'm trying to see if I can continue to stick to that habit of visiting forum often, although I cannot promise it's difficult for me. But this week, definitely the best way to stay in touch is forum. And uh, maybe you can, Mehul, can you create a group? Can you create yes, a sir, Google, sure. uh, uh, what is that called? Workspace? Space, chat window, something like that is there. Uh, by the way, yeah, the email ID provided to you is a very, very powerful and very otherwise expensive one. Uh, not a typical personal Gmail ID like facility. You have what is called Google Workspace. So many possibilities over there. Check and create a small group which can be used for us to chat. Yes, sir. Sure, Can't I figure know. that out. Write to me. Um, yes. I will help you out. So, uh, yes, so just to confirm, your ID is srsiyengar at gmail.com, right? No, no, no. srsiyengar at the stock okay. long yeah. online degree dot yes yes sir okay uh, iatm.ac.in okay yes uh, by the way mehul also uh, email me your phone number yes sir just so that i can keep in touch with you and who who's the other person who said okay yogendra ji uh, please email me your phone number i'll also email you my phone number i'll be in touch uh, you all are volunteers so i want to give you access to contact me um, yes, here and there Okay, let's use responsibly. I don't generally don't never call people uh, without messaging them. So let's have a protocol so that we are available at the same time. Uh, we don't end up disturbing each other. Okay, awesome. So I will send you my phone number right away. You can run Mehul and uh, Shivans already has it. Anyone else who would like to volunteer, uh, please let me know. We'll have a separate group. Yeah, Shahid, please email me if you want to volunteer. Others also said they would like to volunteer. Don't worry, you need not raise your hand. Just let me know over an email, SRS Iyengar. Okay, that should be um, uh, easy for me. I'll uh, reply back to you with my number. And once Gchat comes, now we don't have to worry. We can even call each other over Gchat itself. Okay, brilliant. Let's call it a day. I think um, uh, the start time is five o'clock. Generally, we don't have an end time, which is a good thing, good sign. I thoroughly enjoy talking to you people. I'm already 
I'm also available uh, if you have any further questions. Otherwise, formally, we have concluded long back. Uh, you all are overstaying, but please welcome to overstay in case you have more questions or just want to listen others' questions. Feel free to overstay. Okay, uh, Krishna says me to Excel. Explain about bootcamp. I didn't get it. It is solving code. Uh, Uma asks for bootcamp. Can someone clarify? Uma, Uma, just try to talk to one of the uh, people here. They probably will be able to help you. Or just wait for us to get back on the forum. We will uh, okay. type it out. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, more questions? Anything else apart from your PPPPAs, exercises, quizzes, tests? I, I, so whenever I say that, I, I didn't mean to say that I discourage questions on that. We already have forum and time specified for us to discuss. Is ko bhi wo same format kar do ki, I mean, uh, then there's no point. It's also disturbing for others. Uh, many of you come uh, to get a different flavor uh, also, right? So let us stick to the theme of the discussion, which is technical discussions and room to improve, if any, and things like that. Okay. So I have a question. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, generally, many times you have advised that, you know, what is important is the logical thinking of how you will code even a problem. But I find many a times, you know, I'm not that um, sharp enough to remember the syntax. And uh, it happened in the exam. My logically, I was going very well, but I, I spent a lot of time uh, something as simple as, you know, the separator in the print command. And it used to give me syntax error. And of course, in that pressure, I was not knowing what to do, what not to do. So uh, is it not possible that syntax is something which is so simple that one, one or two page sheet, which you can officially declare, and IIT should allow us to have that syntax in front of us. Cheat should, sheet. Yeah. Yeah. We should uh, spend yeah. least time. Uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes in a 90 minutes exam in getting stressed out on all these things. See, that's right. Um, I, I would uh, again quickly like to give a nice example. Uh, this is a this is a problem for many people, especially with with more time and um, experience. We we will be forced at least I need to know three four programming languages. Uh, okay, including something called LaTeX, which is used to write research papers that also comes with a learning curve, some commands we should understand. It's not very easy for us to, um, uh, you know, just go ahead and then uh, start typing the paper. A good example is um, I, I stay here in my house and <clears throat> a kilometer from here is my mom's house. Okay, whenever I go there, I enter the kitchen. I have no clue where the spoons are, folks are. Um, knife is, tumblers are, plates are, and things like that. Uh, I come back home, again, the structure is very different. here. This is a good example of how two programming languages are. But when you spend enough time in one's kitchen, you slowly start learning what is where. Now, here are two things. Why not map it up? Why not write it, inscribe nice things there saying that anybody who enters it will be able to do it. Sometimes getting this ready is such a big uh, task that we say you practice it out and you familiarize yourself. Although one can get into the debate of make it easy with a cheat sheet or versus uh, you learn it your way. I would like to suggest that it is nice if we learn the basics our way, number one. Number two, master how to use a question mark and double question mark. Make sense? If not, um, please note that you are, uh, I don't know, um, see, I, I understand your problem. If it's a simple notepad-like uh, interface, you definitely need a cheat sheet. I'm with you people on that. Cheat sheet is one, one allowed sheet where you can look up and stuff like that. We can make that arrangement, probably we'll upload uh, uh, one such sheet, which is allowed for you to click open and then read. And then maybe I'll explore this with Karthik. To see like we have possible. a scientific calculator for our mathematics. Exam. Yeah, correct. A cheat sheet can also be allowed, but, uh, but I, I would, uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's much to debate there because I think it's a must given that it's a raw, very vanilla notepad like uh, interface. But then if it's not that, if you have access to an IPython console, what's IPython console? That's your typical, um, what is that? That, that comes in uh, Anaconda. Uh, right, you take spider, there's a small IPython. On Replit, you have a interactive Python console. Go there and simply type the command with a question mark. It will show you the help regarding that. Type two question marks. It will show you all internal details about that. Everything is opened up. Each seed of the pomegranate is visible to you, basically. Everything is uh, uh, public, uh, right? So uh, you could try doing something at this um, uh, level too. I'm sorry, my, my volume is a little... 
okay so uh, you could try doing something at this level too um right using a question mark and double question mark learning that that's my savior whenever i get stuck somewhere i also get stuck with the separators in print state it's not very easy <laughs> right so uh, print command has so many possibilities if you want to print in color there is a possibility basically you should put something called import color home and then we use it but that import function again is a big headache and how to use it within print statement is another thing uh, another learning curve but then my savior has always been my question marks okay put the, learn how to use the question marks in an ipython console you are through so basically give me any um package how i tend to develop my confidence in programming is firstly i will work i will try to play around that package and attempt to use some of the basic commands okay there is always in an office few people that you must know to get your work done first layer second layer is you should know hi bye but you should not be unfamiliar with them and majority of the office it's okay if you don't know them to get your work done right similarly commands also very very few commands that you must know at the next level you may not know but you can look up quickly the third level completely unfamiliar you can do without being familiarized with these commands there's always these three four categories so what i do is i learn the bare minimums and then gain confidence on how to look them up when required i think this has solved my problem and i at any given time you ask me how to use numpy etc etc i may blink my eyes but i'm confident i can look it up and by i i mean any one for that matter you can also develop that confidence of not knowing something but still being confident that you can do it only when we play around with it for some time and then it's a small look up with a question mark to understand what it does right still beyond all these things we stumble we struggle we get stuck we may not understand what is what we forget every time i want to plot something i don't know that matplotlib command in three dimensions uh, which plots with um, neat continuous surfaces all right if you if you if you don't understand what i'm saying um, there are some uh, commands which are really high fi very lengthy i always take i have dedicated 15 minutes every time i this comes learn it from scratch despite me having learned it many times but i know it's 15 minute budget okay finish there and i'm able to plot in three dimensions right comes with practice but it's a very good suggestion by ajitesh that you must provide with some cheat sheet um remind me to talk to kartik or you people can talk also before your next exam request them for a cheat sheet allowance a cheat sheet that is designed by us so if we say you do your cheat sheet you can probably get 100 page cheat sheet with all the <laughs> code of course not everyone will do it but uh, that possibility is there so what we'll do is we will come out with a cheat sheet and upload it there for your reference should be possible not a problem okay uh, perfect anything else any other concerns problems How, did did is, did anyone try um matrix multiplication confidently with functions okay you have to do it that's the finale moment of saying oh, wow here i stop now i know programming okay you have to do it so please try your level preferably don't see my code is that the code that i do saying that i keep my camera on uh, etc or is it the previous week's code how many of you have watched matrix multiplication with functions okay so what what do i do there i i there's a longish uh, coding uh, session right where i go very slowly yes, sir, and your camera on yes sir camera on correct so the, maybe it's a little long don't try to see it uh, uh, more than once uh, but try to do it your way okay and after doing it try using numpy import numpy if you don't know what that is have you used numpy somewhere so far no you figure out how numpy is used to uh no i think i have used i even show you the inverse of a matrix by using numpy sir not yet but you showed how to initialize a matrix using numpy very simple ah, exactly, the exactly. multiplication exactly all transpose and uh, inverting a, a million plus million matrices is very easy using numpy try figuring that out and use your matrix multiplication logic using numpy structure if you don't know what i am talking about talk to me over the forum i'll tell you okay so sharpen your coding skills every day see to become a good musician they say every day I wake up in the morning from 5 to 6 you um do some um what is that uh, they they call it uh, uh what is that voice culture you have to do voice culture even if you you cannot 
one hour a day for the next two months is not equal to 60 hours in a stretch, 60 hours before the concert. Same with, with gymming too. If you want to become healthy, you know, uh, remove the unwanted fat around your body and put on some muscles, you must consistently do at least half an hour every day for the next two months. You cannot say half an hour into half an hour per day into next two months is 30 hours. I'll do it in one stretch, right? That's only be, that'll only be detrimental. Coding is also like that. You must do, someone said, no, I took, I take five minute break. And then I, 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 the aha moment happens after that. So your aha moment will happen when you do it consistently every day, one hour, you should spend at least coding, take up something, repeat the program or preferably take up something new and write a code for that in forums. Do you get some practice questions? Some longish practice questions. No, if not simply take up a sorting technique. There are many sorting techniques, very neat and nice ones. Okay. Try to see whether you can code it. Let me give you a small example and then stop today. Okay. A sort of a sorting technique, which you may not see anywhere. It is a fun sorting technique, by the way. Take two elements randomly. Okay. From left to right, you have some 10 elements, let's say not sorted. Take the third element, take the fifth element. Okay. If third element is greater than fifth element, swap it. Got it. And let's call it the pick sort. I pick two elements, swap them. If they're not in the order, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until the list gets sorted. Is the algorithm clear? Shall I repeat given a list? Pick a random ith element, pick a random jth element. Okay. So, okay. I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, a better way to put it is I'm a doctor. I handle patients. One fine day I come out of my uh, clinic and I see there are hundred patients standing. Okay. Q is not possible. I resort to a nice technique. I say, give me all your names. I'll call you people randomly. I don't know. Of course you could have come early, but I, I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot call you sequentially for some reason. I don't have so much of manpower to uh, sequence it and then call you people, right? I'm going to call you randomly. I may call the same person's name once again. I don't know. Okay. I will call you people out randomly. Similarly, I take the big list. I don't, you know, in an organized way, sort them. I'll simply pick two elements I'll, one from the left, one from the right, some two elements. If See on the left, it should be like this. No, if it's an ascending order, right? If you take two elements, third element should be less than fifth element. Okay. Seventh element should be less than eighth element. Second element should be less than uh, uh, sixth element, so on and so forth. Simply pick two entities. If it is not in the right order, swap them. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. How will you do this? Use the random function. Random, random in pick an element from zero to N minus one, something like that. Okay. Pick two elements and then check for this IJ. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And tell me how many times should you do it to sort the list? Uh, infinitely many, a brilliant statistics question. Another More than 20, gravity, another gravity like question. Okay. No, it's not. It's, it's a very deep question, by the way, very easy to solve the problem. Like this, you'll solve it. Like this, you'll tell me the answer to tell me how the answer works. I mean, why is this answer coming? It's not easy. Okay. So this is called the coupon collector problem. I don't know whether it's covered in statistics or not, but yeah, it's a very, very famous, very cute, very nice problem. Every computer scientist favorite, by the way, because it, it comes in very handy in many of the data analytic uh, situations. Okay. So uh, I repeat, take a big list and try to pick IJ element randomly. If they're not in the right order, swap them. Okay. Once swapped, you see an element can go from this side to this side. Also, maybe a very small element is that said, then you will swap. See, I'll give you an example. 10 was here. Two was here. Obviously you swapped two is here. One is somewhere here. And then you swap and put two that far away. <laughs> but the best part is one has come this side, right? Sometimes things may go out of order like this, but, but is it, they'll go out of order like this, but then this idea is called convergence. It converges ultimately a little bit of disturbance here and there, but we can tolerate it because it converges eventually. Brilliant idea. I know, you know, say, 
a piece of good song when you hear you say wow how melodious trust me the idea of algorithms is as beautiful as a melodious song if you understand it nicely see the intricate uh, ideas there it is more than a song song is not deep algorithms are anything mathematical uh, that say is very deep but then we should start with the common sensical part otherwise it becomes common sense complicated okay so let's make a move so uh, one last 730. question yeah yeah go ahead go ahead uh, today i read one article uh, in the newspaper where it says that the current ceo of wipro sitting in paris for last 15 months has really transformed wipro without even visiting here and uh, some of the steps that he took is that you know uh, he had uh, 27 profit centers reporting to him and how he restructured it into four and under them those who were responsible for accounts manager mm-hmm. uh, they were deep down the hierarchy but he brought them up so that they are just three levels down the hierarchy and they have a better chance of interacting with him as a ceo so just uh, why it came to my mind is right now when you said mathematically randomly everything settles down uh, is it possible right now to give an analogy as to how this real life thing can be uh, similar to what you are trying to absolutely this, this is called absolutely absolutely very good question i would like to uh, explain i would like to uh, welcome 27 more such... people uh, reporting to him hmm. 27 people reporting to him he 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 not being from mark culture he said i was totally lost i even didn't try to understand how wipro works because i was very clear i am going to disrupt this so he didn't spend a single moment in understanding how wipro works and he just gave his solution and today in last one year the share price of wipro has doubled more twice okay so i have a few things uh, that i observe again my, completely from my desk my perspective uh, i may not be uh, right here but before i go ahead uh, let me ask the live streaming to be uh, um, to go off because i'm giving my take on uh, an mnc <laughs> no although i'm going to talk scientifically only but still i think this can be too much of uh, of a session for a person who is trying to watch it from uh, the beginning till the end so may i request the uh, admin to switch off the live uh, streaming kartik and co anybody there cs uh, cs1002 the host ask to unmute ask to start the video ask to un- unmute so that yes cs1002 can we stop the streaming service no before that let me let me talk about the technical aspects of it um people have tried understanding so one thing there is uh, more of a historical lesson where if you see how a place becomes um okay cannot quote an example <laughs> no okay so let, let let me go ahead and quote it so you see us okay it's how new 250 years old maybe around that okay but they have become phenomenally powerful intense with their ideas performance and all that uh, one theory is that which is only obvious there's no theory there is that when you start from scratch okay i want to uh, reform an existing company versus starting from scratch has an advantage that i start thinking uh, and putting my thinking to practice easily okay because there is very less uh, um, you know pulling down uh, right uh, second possibility is that you can hire the best possible talent or bring about the changes which otherwise is not possible and things like that similarly maybe in this uh, experiment of wipro a brand new person tried creating a us like structure i'm just guessing okay one thing another thing is bringing in uh, a new person uh, would probably bring in new ideas uh, we can always keep guessing uh, like this another point is that when we toss a coin 10 times i mean uh, ha huh, 10 times each one of you tossing the coin 10 times somewhere in the world they will get all 10 heads this wipro experiment could be that we do not know unless we repeat this experiment in some other setup multiple times and do a what is called a monte carlo simulation uh, try to do it again and again and again and try to see if it appears always only then it becomes a strategy otherwise it could be just a matter of chance we do not know but then this has been a great research question of how to define a particular protocol 
and leave people to follow this protocol and see success emerge there okay something like wikipedia you see this person jimmy wales simply created a portal and said let's keep the encyclopedia open microsoft encarta um, what is that uh, britannica encyclopedia all of them said what do you mean you're keeping an encyclopedia open for a 8 year old to come and edit he said no this is wonderful let him come and edit let him make mistakes we will correct it that's a better form of enhancing knowledge than keeping it sealed be be behind the dungeons of uh, so called uh, scientific literature let's not do it and his idea is phenomenally successful right now so phenomenally successful that wikipedia articles are known to be the best written articles ever and britannica encyclopedia closed down <laughs> right so uh, the point is wikipedia tried looking at a protocol based approach where we will keep a slate open but we will we all will follow the following protocol it will be enforced on these people automatically knowledge will get enhanced in such portals it was a super success all right not by chance uh, but by an experiment a controlled experiment today says that some proper protocol if you set up leave a few people in the room ensure that they don't fight that's also part of the protocol ask them to resolve a problem probably they will what is this protocol is sort of an open question for organizations although in organization behavior many people have studied this from management to even data sciences and in fact in our own, our own lab we have tried looking at wikipedia stack overflow quora like places and try to see how we can get the best out of them we don't have an answer for this question i somehow want to assume that it was a game of chance which uh, maybe we pro one i don't know only time will tell us right so, if so such an experiment you, happens you, once again for instance you, just one input for instance after covid lockdown all the it companies have seen tremendous progress in terms of output okay they are still wondering why that is happening they probably thought ha ah, we are at home we can have our own homemade filter coffee is one of the theories other theory is that commute time is reduced third theory is that uh, you get a chance you start attacking the meeting times they say that meeting times are very low right now given that it's uh, uh, not face to face we don't tend to waste time near the water dispenser and the cafeteria and things like that so uh, i do not know but it's observed clearly data analytically that they all have improved right the it sector itself is doing very well and now uh, infrastructure wise they are realizing that we don't need so many cubicles ac centralized ac um, uh, facilities and so much of coffee machines uh, we can uh, give them some incentive we'll let them have coffee in their own place and let them run from their big desktops from home yeah ajitesh ji please go ahead. yeah so you know uh, why i what answer i was uh, expecting from you is that the magic way, formula the way no the way you uh, promote uh, algorithm as a poetry and uh, you know that fun part of it is it possible that you know uh, i mean mathematically 27 uh, even like in our computer cpu 27 people giving their uh, profitability and the cpu are trying to understand and giving a decision uh, it takes a lot of time and that's for the, that's why you know we have uh, specially dedicated um, uh, other chips which uh, the cpu delegates and it takes only the uh, main decisions uh, for it so i mean okay. is it can we not correlate this to this guy you know where he he thinks that my time why should i spend in giving decisions to these 27 profit centers and maybe he has thought of something like an algorithm like you describe i i mean i also think uh, it could be a chance uh, like you are doubt but is there any theory in practice today where you can solve these things mathematically and algorithm and correlate it to human nature and how we handle teams and good organizations a good question there has been there has been quite a bit of uh, understanding at the level of task assignments uh, process allocation okay this goes very similar to how hrs uh, supposed to function or let's say a team leader is supposed to function most of it holds good actually but then um, yeah i mean see it it is it all sometimes becomes context dependent a bunch of uh, uh daylight laborers may they also work together they need to collaborate uh, get together and then do it will will the same signs work in a setup like that of uh, software or maybe teaching is an entirely different field if you see there's nothing like divide and conquer in teaching you go teach and then come back and do your administrative duties so will, will it be context dependent only time will say but then there is one idea called the incremental algorithm you can take a look at it which comes sort of very close where you see um at every step you improve you come out with a protocol where you follow these steps 100 times you converge towards perfection if we can figure that out 
okay do this do this do this do this and do this this set you keep doing okay and that will lead to if you can try proving it mathematically uh, or or let's say using a computational model people have done that organization behavior is a, a big domain where people have tried all these things and i'm not surprised that uh, uh, it is possible but generally when the success happens they go to the place and try to figure out mathematical models there is no magic formula mathematical model which works everywhere if that comes then probably every single setup will be super successful unfortunately as of now it is not but um, yeah people have looked at bee colonies wasp colonies ants and try to figure out how they work how they work so efficiently effectively can we mimic that uh, right in, in things as simple as traffic jams and congestion how to resolve it they have looked at insects and taken uh, motivation from there right although i am unable to answer the question in tact uh, but then i think it should be it's a very interesting field by the way very very interesting field okay something at the level of swarm intelligence you can look it up uh, addresses some of these concepts okay we can talk it out in case you are interested in uh, um um uh take a look at amazon mechanical turk amazon mechanical turk try to look at it look at it around it you probably will get answers to your questions uh, whatever is known so far richik yes right sir richik the hands raised okay so no problem any other question thank you very much uh, uh, shivan mehul and co yogendra harshal harshit Uh, Ajitesh for keeping your video on. I think that's one thing that I'm. Uh, I, I should acknowledge at the end of the. It's not easy to keep it on and then stay with the professor. It's. It feel like. Feels like you are the friend benches of my class. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you two are giving your time, so. No, no. Of course, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm paid to give my time. That's. <laughs> of course, I enjoy it too. Uh, I just meant keeping the video on is 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 not actually required or mandatory. All right. a uh, good thank you oh, good to see there many people around uh, silent though but yeah kushi nupur thank you to you also you were there um with the video on for a long time thank you nidhi uh thank you prashant thank you all if you have something personal to talk please stay back otherwise we can call it a day i probably have another five more minutes to go after that even i'll wind up another meeting coming up at 8 o'clock okay sir thank you thank you friends thank you thank you so much sir Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. If there's nothing you, else, sir. I'll also end up. Thank you, thank you. I'll keep my uh, mute on with my video off. If you want something, you can always talk to me. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. sir yeah yeah please go ahead sir the shorting problem you have discussed just now sir we don't know actually the how many steps there will be so i what, think what, what problem shahid come again short term the problem. shorting problem i to j i to j term short i'm sorry i didn't get you uh, the shorting sir, problem shorting problem i j i j yeah. sorting so so sorry so sorry yeah yeah okay sir we don't know how many steps there will be we don't know okay then while loop is the main tool we we are going to use then what will be the breaking point when everything is sorted maybe is the breaking point then how will we will check this you check it every time you pick the i j i n j and then swap them then every time the list check. you it look at the entire list the moment you see an element that is greater than the next element you stop and say ah the array the list is not sorted yet let me get back to picking further let's call it the pick sort pick p a c k pick uh, sir pick can sort. i ask something in this go on go on go on please yeah, i am very pick, glad that uh, you people are one thing compliment you when i give a problem if there are questions on the problem i really really like it that's a sign of a, a sort of a very good student excellent go ahead yeah so sir uh, when we stated the problem we said that uh, we are using this method because we cannot uh, access every individual element right like we can't go through all the elements assuming yeah assuming but uh, here before every iteration we want to go through every element and check if they are in ascending order we so, need not like, do that the point no, is no, that I'm, it's I'm, paradoxical yeah it's paradoxical but then uh, that that i say don't you don't have access to all the elements but then you check all the elements so what you can do is you can check it once in a while 
or do it if you know how much how many steps you take okay you finish those steps and then say and oh, now it's mostly sorted i need not go any further right 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 Right. That's, so, that's, so, that's the wisdom uh, that you will get. That, that's where statistics kicks in, uh-huh. and it tells you that look, if you can do some pen paper work, you can stop here without checking. Shahid's question, your question put together, you can say that ah uh, ah uh, uh, don't worry, it will be solved now. It happens, no? Or um, or if we uh, could say something that if if uh, after n number of trials, so, uh, and we result, we see that swapping does not uh, like as in we are swapping only when uh, they are in the uh, in correct when order right continuously for the k number it's of times you are not any seeing changes. any element then being uh, you know misbehaving correct. then you can always call it as uh, one yes. moment, call it as quits right yes, yes, very yes. good insight the what is that k is the question you see statistics kicking in right right mm-hmm. here this is the motivation for statistics right when to stop we can use the uh, you know um, the the sort of a, uh, the stupid suggestion i gave shahid you asked a nice question my suggestion was actually stupid i told you every single step you try looking at all the elements that are sorted or not right so um, atharva right atharva or sunil atharva sir atharva attacked me by saying that why would you want to do that maybe there is some ingenious way of stopping by looking at uh, that stage where for k consecutive times you are not seeing i being greater than j maybe it is sorted okay so i am inside the clinic i see many patients have not come inside assuming i don't i don't see the queue outside uh, for the past 10 minutes nobody has come inside which means that i am done for the day i will leave uh, not not many people are there uh, you see <laughs> i probably can conclude like that can you do that statistics will tell you all right a very nice question for you to learn statistics what is a random by bombs are question what is the random variable here don't worry if you cannot answer what's a random variable x here boom sir can you repeat please what what's what's a random variable in here? in See, what I, experiment I, 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 that, that's the question <laughs> are you feeling the need to use aapko main hum dono mila milke kuch cooking kar rahe hain aapko lag raha hai ya ab aapko kuch namak dalna chahiye it's discretion i mean intuition aapko lag raha hai right now should you put or at the end uh, chai mein aap uh, uh, chini kab dalte ho beginning mein ya end mein somewhere in the middle you try this they will have they'll give you different tastes try putting sugar and boiling it taste is different at the end you put uh, also called the english tea okay mm-hmm. the taste is different when you put milk also matters when exactly that's discretion right ask your uh, the best tea maker of your house she or he will know the answer Uh, right so now i am asking you you are doing this t called statistics can you tell me um what is the random variable here do you feel the need to bring in random variable here somewhere think sir, i'll help you think sir shivansh yes sir i think the number of times swapping will occur till the loop is perfectly sorted that's a random variable it will change every Possibly, time but i am on the lookout for a very Neat and nice random variable here, an awesome uh, random variable is sitting there that, that is demanding your attention. A very uh, good-looking random variable is sitting there, and she, and you're looking uh, at someone else, you want someone who is not there in the limelight. But that's also a random variable, of course. How many steps does it take? Is a random variable. Yeah, Mehul. So this could be a random variable to check, like uh, if the swapping is taking place, yes or no. So zero or one kind of thing. Okay. Like a flag variable. So if the swapping takes place um, or not, okay, that's also okay. that's some. See, you can always cook a random variable anywhere. Number of hair uh, strands on our head is also a random variable of different people. Okay, but there's a very strong and cute random variable sitting here. I'll give you a hint. Uh, have you watched the Super Fifth, Super Forty, Super Forty? What's that movie? Super Fifty. क्या है वो movie? Super Thirty. Special Thirty Six. So Super Thirty. Special Chubbies. वो अलग है. This is Super. 30 super 30 but no 30 in that trithik uh, correct me if i'm wrong he looks at this uh, heroine's face and say um, tumhare muh mein phi nahi hai <laughs> right so he is saying that uh, i'll is constant phi um, he says that symmetry of the face tells uh, one how beautiful a person is that's very true if if you, if you put a axis here uh, if if the left is matching the right exactly the person is considered very good looking okay now but then it is never perfect okay 100 on 100 if you secure in some subject you are very good if you secure 99 you are very bad is it 
Similarly, can you quantify something? You understand what is quantify here? Quantify. I, I may not have a symmetric face, says the girl, but tell me how beautiful am I on a 10 point scale? How close am I to the, um, the symmetry that you're talking about? Let's say tells the hero into Hrithi Krishna. It doesn't happen, but I'm just giving you a fictitious example. Similarly, given a list, can you quantify and tell me how sorted the list is? Atharva, can you how sorted the list is? I said Atharva because you were in that direction of thinking with the questions that you asked. Sir, could we say that the number of uh, uh, numbers that are in continuous batch, which are sorted out of the total one numbers? One way, one way. Another way is the actual way is a foolproof way is take all possible IJ pairs. All possible IJ pairs. There are n choose two IJ pairs, correct? Yeah. A little bit of math. Yeah. Yeah. N choose two IJ pairs. Of all of them, look at the ones that are in in the disorder. incorrect position. Incorrect Once order. They pass fifty percent. In the denominator, put n choose two. In the numerator, put these pair number of pairs. Uh -huh. That's a measure of how impure, how impure your, your data your set is. is. Yes, yes, okay? yes, yes. And in every that's the random variable x. But every here. time you do this experiment. Okay. Huh. This keeps changing. It will become better and better. Decreasing. Decreasing. It goes to zero. Yeah. 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 This is I, a good, I, I repeat. Uh, I repeat. No, no, one second. Let, let me just, mm -hmm. let us sink into everyone. I, I see that uh, uh, not all of you got it, right? Advantage of having the camera on. It, it helps the teacher uh, reach you people with the verbal, non-verbal cues. Um, you see, all I'm trying to do is take all possible IJ elements. If L of I is less than L of J, good. It's in good position. This is, this is, I is less than J, so L of I should be less than L of J. If I is less than J, but L of I is greater than L of J, you should swap basically, correct? Don't swap here. You try all possible pairs and check which pair is like this. The more you see that, more unsorted the list is. Intuition, plain intuition. कितने अच्छे लोग हैं यहाँ पे इस एरिया में कितने बुरे लोग हैं आप रैंडमली थोड़ा बहुत लोगों को देख लो जाके बात कर लो यू विल रियलाइज दैट वन पर्सन इज अफ मगर वन पर्सन इज अः बिग डेकॉट एक्सेट्रा यू नो वेरी वेल दैट एरिया इज डेंजरस यू शुड नॉट बी देट राइट सो वेन यू वेन यू वेन यू पिक एवरी पॉसिबल पर्सन यू गेट टू नो द एक्जैक्ट पिक्चर बट इवन बाई पिकिंग ए फ्यू पीपल ऑल्सो यू कैन सैम्पल एंड फिगर आउट वट इज द वट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द लिस्ट हियर Right, so statistics that way is very beautiful. If you start from first principles and motivate the question, and then look up the answer. So beautiful random variable x here is the number of pairs that are in the this kind of position. Okay, as you in incrementally keep picking, you do this pick sort every step. This starts reducing, starts reducing. But unfortunately, I'll tell you a small story. Tell me where you can relate to it. Okay, uh, where do I stay? My sir. My sir, but where am I from? I don't know where do I work. So IIT Roper. IIT Roper. Uh, generally, an IIT is a big campus. You all know that. Yes, Correct? sir. Our IIT is some five hundred acres. Please visit sometime. It's a very beautiful place. Yes, yes. Uh, the point is not that. Point is I'm motivating you with a story of uh, stray dogs in our campus. It has become a big menace. All right, lot of stray dogs. Uh, we absolutely love them, but when they go beyond a number, it becomes a problem. Especially when they stray around with, with big numbers and always barking and stuff like that. So what we are trying to do is maybe get them into, um, I mean, bring in a vaccination-like program and vaccinate all the dogs. What do you do? You start walking around with a syringe and uh, you know anti-rabies vaccine, and then the next dog you see, boom, 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 you start vaccinating. It's very easy to vaccinate the 80% of the dogs, but the last few are very tough to catch. Intuitive? Yes. Intuitive? Sir. Yes. The yes. last few is always very difficult to catch. Every time you go and catch a dog, it will be a vaccinated dog. Assume okay. you do something, you put a small mark on its forehead uh, from uh, you know permanent marker or something. Okay. Every time you go, I I have a kutta mila. I want to go and vaccinate it. You will see that oh, it's already been vaccinated. The last few is very difficult to find. Why am I narrating this story? What has this to do with the example? And sir, hand? during the flipping, every time we choose a random set, 
uh, it will be already like uh, when we said that uh, we will start checking whether all of them are in the correct order only after a number of set of uh, failed attempts to swap them that failed attempt number will be quite big because we will continuously there may be get some pairs that are not in order you may not yeah, find them you may not the first find few them. are very easy to catch the last few are very difficult to catch intuition yes yes intuition sir. intuition yes, yes, yes. intuition okay this idea is called um um parameter estimation you try to estimate how much time it will take for you to figure out the last few things they say um you know this rule if not take a look at it it's a very nice law called the prices law if i remember it right 10% of the people in the workplace do 50% of the work the other 90% they do the remaining 90% 50% of the work i repeat jahan pe jis setup mein 10000 log hote hai na wahan pe 1000 log aadha kaam karte hai us company mein baki 9000 log aur aadha kaam karte hai this is true <laughs> this is true everywhere this is very scientifically well established and well studied also take a look at it it's i think called the price law or look at employment ratio who works etc law and you will get it okay this is very scary you see then why do why to recruit so many people why don't why don't you just retain this 1000 and give up on this 9000 that's not true when you retain only 1000 people in that only 10% 100 people will work 50% it always forms like that it is it develop it converge very beautiful social uh, computing models you know they have proved it to be right you can simulate and see it actually it's always true anyways getting back uh, why am i saying this i was telling you know 95% of the rule is made for 5% of the people and 95% of the law is made for 5% of the people but it bothers 95% of the people see if traffic light was not there me and you would stop respect the other person and then move but if that's me and you one person will say ah sab log they are stopping let me move nobody is spitting on the roads anyways it's clean let me alone spit it's okay kya ek ek baar thukne se kya ho jayega <laughs> right so you see this law comes everywhere this similar kind of law is coming here the last few are the toughest they use the max of your processing time the last few culprits you know they are the ones to catch how do you catch them nicely and quickly uh, right okay so i had to take this call just give me one second uh, hello bala Did you guys get that problem? Uh, which no. one? Fix out. I'm still a bit hazy on it. Uh, like, uh, are you asking what the problem was, or are you asking for the solution? No, I got the problem. Like, you right, just right. pick two random variables yeah, and yeah. check if they're not sorted. You swap their positions. I think uh, it was a bit confusing because I missed one point. That go on, discuss. Uh, go on, discuss. Let me hear you. Go on. Uh, So, sir was saying that we pick two random uh, variables uh, two numbers and we swap them only if they are uh, uh, one is bigger than the other and the part that i think so you probably are confused in is that one is bigger than the other only then we swap like we don't keep on doing the swaps until the infinite right like if uh, if i pick two numbers say 3 is on the left of 2 <clears throat> 3 is less than uh, sorry greater than 2 right so we swap only because 3 is gre uh, greater than 2 but if we had the numbers in the order 2 and 3 then we wouldn't swap and that mm -hmm. becomes a thing that we see okay we're not swapping them right right so um, that would be convergence because uh, once they are not swapped this pair is not swapped let us say i uh, collect all the pairs of the possible let us say i have n different uh, numbers that i want yeah. to arrange and then i would have uh, like uh, possibilities uh, nc2 possibility of selecting two different numbers right to swap i have nc2 number of pairs right so when i say that i have selected 2 and 3 mm -hmm. like uh, i in my in my uh, random no no uh, but atarva oh, just just a small quick yes, yes. quiz question there uh, you you take ijth element and then swap or not swap mm -hmm. okay do you think you can ignore from now onwards the ij i this i and this jth element as a pair i can ignore them right what if something else comes and sits in i something else comes and sits in j eventually see ij got swapped Right, and then right, jk right. got swapped and il got swapped 
that you you may not be able to do that you see uh, that's sir, interesting or, the, or or can you think about it ha huh, go on is, uh, sir talking about the coding logic like I, i'm still a little blur about the concept of how the pixot is working but talking about the coding no, logic, no 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 what we are doing so pixot is very obvious we are not guaranteeing you that it is going to sort we have yeah. a gut feeling deep inside our gut that it will work that's all <laughs> what what is what is that feeling i jet entry le lo sorting ka matlab kya hai jo bhi dos element loge aap left side wala aadmi right side wala aadmi se kam hona chahiye that is sorted yeah. uh, list ka logic us logic ko lekar we are trying to devise an algorithm which yes. is pick i jet element if it's not in that order swap them keep doing it keep doing okay. it keep doing it until you reach glory If you don't reach glory, it means you haven't done enough. Log nee bolte hain. Oh, you're doing well, but not enough. You should work hard. The high mm-hmm. school teachers uh, <laughs> typically would tell me, no matter how much you work hard, it's like it's not enough, not enough. Work harder. So I'll say work hard and look at more IJT elements. All right? Sai Pranav, go on. Um, I just had a simple question. Are we uh, drilling for the complexity here? Like wondering how long it will take for it to get sorted? Is that the question? What is complexity? I don't know what's complex. I mean, not complex. Uh, let's just say, um, um, are we looking for how long this might take to run? No, there are, there's a much more philosoph better, much more deeper a philosophical question that these people are worrying about right now. Will it ever stop? <laughs> is what they're worrying about. It will, right? Um, I'm. Uh, which no, is, no, uh, no, the first question is. The first question is. When you are picking I and J element randomly, what if you are picking the same I and say J J element? There's a small probability that will happen, right? Or you are repeating mm-hmm. around some few elements, and you have not touched was one bunch of elements in your big list. Uh, one question. I... Okay, well, one second. Let me just mute someone else. Second question is, um, how can you figure out that the list is sorted? One uh, very ugly method which I suggested was keep checking, keep checking, keep checking. and the uh, uh, i was confronted by saying that you don't have to do that maybe you can be a little um, smart by looking at um, instances where you are not seeing such a pair and then you can stop right but then the refutation for that rebuttal for that is that the dog example you know there may be some pairs that are not sorted when i say sorted it should be purely sorted how long do you go keeping check keep on checking quality comes with a price but the price can be very high how can you reduce the price still achieve quality is the question see look at the elegance of the question itself so many sub questions get started and and you learn good amount of statistics here okay sai pranav the point is that we just sort of um um discussing around a, a small problem there is no problem to solve here uh, some, some statistics to learn that's all um i also wanted to just segue into a point related to this i'm not sure if it's related to their discussion but um because the way we're picking the elements is random mm-hmm. uh so no matter how long it takes uh there will come a point where the smallest element is going to settle uh the smallest element let's say the smallest element of the list will always keep going to the left right no matter how many times you swap so you Good can say two goes to the end it never goes to the right it never goes to the right is it Uh, if one is the smallest element in the list per se, it's always going to keep smallest going to the left. Smallest always goes to the left. Very good. That's a theorem that you're stating. Excellent. Not other elements. Maybe yeah, ten may only, not. Ten will do like this, and finally go and sits step. down in some place. The smallest of all always keeps moving to the left, and once it reaches its, it stays there. Its permanent house. It stays there, and the second smallest element starts moving to the left only. Wonderful observation. can you prove it it will take two pages proof and if you start your teaching with this two page proof for this algorithm you have lost all your students <laughs> the point i'm trying to make is uh, as a student you should try to see how where to start with the motivational example and where to land not start from the land and then come back as as they keep saying look at the target and shoot the arrow uh, one strategy another strategy is shoot the arrow and then build a target around it i mean both has its ups and downs but then the point is learn from a motivational example uh, if not create a motivational example for which the concept is an answer right many things are hidden here try to unravel it it will get very exciting first question is sai pranav has observed a beautiful th- couple of theorems that he stated here there are actually theorems tough to prove that one always keeps moving to the left easy to observe tough to state and prove don't have to prove it why should we prove it i mean we sort of uh, can understand what's happening there unless we're writing a research paper we do this doesn't call for a proof number one number two once it reaches there the second largest element starts moving towards the left other elements can do this but number two assuming that it's from 1 to n numbers that we're sorting sai pranav right so uh, the 
too starts behaving he starts going only in the left direction until he goes and sits in the second point after sitting in the point, second point one and two never move sir along with this or uh, the uh, largest element will also move towards the right absolutely like absolutely both, yes both, both, both are happening yes sir, some some beautiful phenomena is happening here you see very nice observation so the same proof holds good for largest also here largest second largest third largest you see and, this and, uh, and the ones that are moving do not radiate away from their home uh, atharva you, you, are, you tell your mom that i am going outside mother says oh, don't go outside the city limits stay in the city limits are there any city limits for some elements for the element i is there city limits third theorem interesting to see do you think it doesn't move around a lot it calls for statistics maybe it moves around a lot but the average movement is very less it goes down with time starts moving towards its destination thoda bahut idhar udhar ghumte hain um i mean the young spoiled teenagers but they get back home so they converge to the direction of the home how long does it take if you figure this out these are all random variables by the way slowly one at a time you know how long does it take for the ith element to go settle down in ith element ith place holder okay but then always some dogs keep straying okay some elements will it will take a long time for you to identify them the point is after a while your method will the, the problem is the method hurts okay your ij element that you are picking the smallest goes on the left side as sai pranav said the largest goes on the right side as uh, atharva said but your random function simply keeps taking two elements it may not touch a few elements at all the answer to this is in the following beautiful probability problem which we all have solved in our childhood there is to be this chewing gum when i was a kid probably there was something else when you were a kid you should collect all color coupons or all numbers once you collect all numbers you get a big gift have you ever encountered something like this in your life sure sir where like uh, in chips bags they used to give chips these chips bags they used, in uh, lace they used to give yeah. in compline they used to give colors vip goyar if you collect compline or bolenta somewhere some uh, some some of this um, uh, whatever uh, milk drinks powder right if you collect all vip goyar you get a tennis bat tennis ball and a wicket stick we all would wait 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 you would get violet you would get green you would get blue you will again get violet the toughest one would be the last one you will collect six and the six will keep repeating seventh will never occur you get frustrated so if you have n colors how many times should you buy so that you get all the n colors it's called the coupon collector problem okay it takes n log n time okay i don't want to get into the details although the details are very exciting very very exciting look at coupon collector problem you will get to know if you want let's have a separate session on it i'll take my paper and then even prove how it's n log n and that's a very great recipe uh, that can be used like a pickle for a computer scientist for a long time pickle once you get it ready you use it for a long time right n log n idea is is like is like that do you know where the series goes 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6 up to 1 by n any idea this is my favorite definition of log n this is log n sir 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 7 dot 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 1 by n is equal to Right, right. Log, log, uh, log. It's the expansion of log. How, how do you know that, sir? From series, like we would study it in twelfth. From memory. Yeah. Okay. Sir, so no, let me give I, you an intuition. Yeah, yeah, small intuition. What is integral of one by x from one to n? What is integral of one by x? Log x. Log x. Integral of one by x is very similar to you are integrating one, one by two, one by three, one by four, one by five. Integral of one by x, one. That's the continuous case is log x. the discrete case is log n a very beautiful formula that comes and sits next to n it becomes n log n in this coupon collector problem take a look at it it's very beautiful very nice and that comes to your rescue where are we i'm not digressing that comes to your rescue and figure out the missing dogs the repeating dogs right the final few dogs you will get if you try n log n times whenever there are n coupons keep buying n log n times you will find all of them get a high probability there's always a possibility that you don't find one coupon there's always a small probability that this something will not happen but statistically speaking it will very soon happen in the sense that the probability of this not happening becomes very 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 so small that you can ignore it okay interesting can someone take a look at this question in deep the best part about the question is you may not be able to google for it um um and and try to see if you can tell a lot about it i'll be very happy to uh, recognize you as a um 
you know whatever um, outstanding performer if you go deep into this question don't care about what's the application of the question it's just a just a piece of uh, uh, number that i want you to play on your guitar uh, guitar and, and perfectly do it right so to try playing this piece of uh, poetry and try to see how long you can go very impressed with all of you especially uh, when you observed uh, tits and bits of it made questions starting with shahid to um, um, yeah, mehul to uh, you know atar was uh, coining of questions and sai pranav's coining of theorems uh, right wonderful show good shivansh let's uh, move now i have another meeting to go i have only 5 minutes left in the meeting take care guys i i can go on and on but let's see i i think i we should have more such sessions where there's no time yes, limitation sir, please, please, and sir, um, no please. formality not live how will we do that i mean i want some of you to volunteer to conduct these things yeah see, sure sir it should not be very localized in the sense that only few people uh, manage it at the same time it should not be so global and so official that we wait for the time and wait for the formalities to happen ye bhi hona hai wo bhi hona hai informally we should get together and catch up for this kind of activities can you try plotting this uh, pick sort and then show me some plots on what is yes. happening yes, right theorems give me in and out you should understand okay good take care guys bye bye uh, thank you I sir thank a lot you of people much. are silently um, uh, watching thanks to you all uh, uh, if there's anything please let me know i can also help you people out parth i think we should talk no i forgot i didn't get back to you just ping me parth i i I'll, i'll get back to you I suppose there's the same part as the part that who was talking to me the last time. So many people, there's every possibility that it repeats. Heard of the birthday paradox? Yes, sir. Computational yes, thinking. Sir. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all. you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, bye. sir. Yeah, Thank I you, sir. Now. Thank you. Sir, I really love the uh, like. I love your enthusiasm, sir. To teach. Yeah. Uh, same here. Same here. Thank it's you. all. Uh, it's all sort of contagious. If you show enthusiasm, enthusiasm will come from here. and that doubles up yours and that quadruples mine and so on and so it goes on to infinity like that awesome guys take care write to me all of you write to me um sunil uh, shivanshi wrote to me already sahid mehul sai pranav please write to me okay send an email saying that you are if possible add all of them and then send to me okay take care you guys bye bye uh, yeah sir about the uh, things that like you said we can have more of such uh, Lectures yeah. which are yeah. without limits, like it, okay. if not without limits, even with like two hour limits, it will be great. Like uh, to have keep it such... slightly open. The point is that we don't have a strict start and end time. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Topic sure. to discuss. I think sure. we got the theme right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's for just get together, have a cup of coffee in your hand, and go on discussing. Throw some questions and see how. Um, or or open the compile open the editor and then start typing the code and see sure, what's sir. what's happening it will sure. be fun okay yeah. why don't you take so, it up uh, yeah. uh, 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 can i write uh, to you about that as well like yeah, uh, please write to me yeah, and yeah, also yeah. initiate a forum thread there saying yes. that we will do something like yes that. yes okay, at least uh, this I week i'm available let's make the best use of um, my time and your time okay sir yes thank super, you sir super super take care take care Loved bye it. bye, bye, bye. same here bye thank you sir thank you sir